What's up, chat? Guys, there was a Windows update last night. Can you hear me and can you hear the music? Does everything sound normal? Yeah, big, yeah, big sweat frog. Um, let me get Frank in here. Hold on, because Frank's going to hang out with us. Uh, real quick, though, I want to thank Griffin Husky for the two years of support. And uh, Ubu, thank you, Daddy, for the gifted uh, gifted subs. Thank you. Uh, let me just call Frankie. Frankie Fat Nuts coming to drop his fat spaghetti and meatballs all over our shit. Hi. Fred, can I'm you... Guessing that, I'm guessing the beginning of that sentence was, I'm about to spaghetti bob all over your shit. We're going to drop your fat meat spaghetti and meatballs, right? Because the spaghetti and the balls go together, right? Right, yeah. Um, the spaghetti is very convenient because that, that's what my dick looks like. It's just a very long piece of, of spaghetti. It's like Drake, but with less girth. <laughs> You saw? Did you see Drake's penis? <laughs> no. What a shame. What a shame. I'll have to hook you up with that. Uh, it's, oh yeah, I I feel like that's what was missing from my life. It's it's uh, you know what it is? It's interesting. It's an interesting penis. Really? Yeah, it's interesting. I feel, it's. I feel like there there are two kinds of people in the world. Yeah. There are people who hear the phrase "interesting penis" and go "ew," and there are people who hear "interesting penis" and go "huh." Yeah. Well, it, it's, you know what it is? Chat, it's, chat, which one are you? Are you one or two? These are, these are twos. For sure. They're twos. Yeah, Could we do a poll? Could we do a poll to figure out, like, how many people would go? Oh. Let me, let me set the poll up. I'm going to set it up. Hold on. Oh, I'm going to yeah. set it up. Poll. You what? see a weird uh, penis. Do you, one, you, you hear, you hear the phrase weird penis. Do you go, ew, or do you go, huh? The phrase... Weird penis. Do you? Hmm. Do you think? Ew or? Huh. Ooh. Like intrigued. Like. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. It is like. Mm, I, I, I am interested. Tell me more. Give me your pamphlet. Intrigued. Disgusted. Here we go. Uh, starting the poll. All right. Um, Speaking of, yeah, yeah, I, have, yeah, yeah. I have this for you. What do you got? Oh, okay. So he's already on loading all over us. Mm -hmm. um, with it, they, I'm going to double check. They don't have dicks, right? Correct. Okay. Opening up strong with this tonight. Uh, you know what? Wood. Wood? Yeah. Wood, you know what? Wood. Absolutely wood. Would. Those look like Shreks that know what they want. <laughs> yeah. And they know what you want, too. Mm -hmm. Right? You know. there's, there's firmly in the number two category. You start talking about your weird dick, and they're like, I gotta know. Well, they had, you know, Mr. Big from Sex in the City. This would this would be Mr. Weird. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Um... But yeah, thanks for sharing this. Uh, I was going straight into my uh, my spank bank folder. All right, good. Um, tonight, Fred, do you want to tell chat what you uh, what what you brought what you brought to us tonight? What kind of heinous I, shit you brought? I have actually not even seen it yet. This was recommended to me by Ryan. Uh, Ryan down the rabbit hole, musicman. Yeah. And you haven't seen this? No, I've not. Okay. I am completely I'm, I'm going into this with no like i know about it i yeah. know a little bit about it but i have not actually seen it i just i know that it has been called i think it was called the worst movie of all time by cracked like this was their bottom rated movie ever so it's 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 not good then this is it is it is the first martial arts film to come out of this specific town in Ireland. Probably the only one, too. I feel like... I feel like being the first... Probably the only... Being the first martial arts film out of a small town in Ireland 
kind of has all of the same gravitas behind it as oh yeah it was my first time having sex so you hear that it's like oh it sounds oh that sounds exciting and impressive and then you realize oh nobody knows what they're doing and everyone's just embarrassed first time i had sex it was awesome and yeah and i made her come like 30 times yo yeah just ask your mom about it she'll tell you she'll tell you she'll tell you all about it wow yeah. That is one way to learn that you are my father. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for being here. Apparently, Ryan does cool. music for a YouTube channel that looks at shitty movies. Is that is that right? What? Ryan does music for a YouTube channel that looks at shitty movies or something. OSW movie reviews. What's that? Well, he well he does OSW reviews, but that's a um, that's a wrestling. It's a oh, I, show. I, just, I just, you know, I tried to use context clues, so I don't know why chat would bring that up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it appears to be a uh, an Irish martial arts movie that's not very good. Um, apparently, now apparently, the person who did it is like the per the martial artist in question is actually good. Mm -hmm. Apparently, like he's good at. You know he's, like good, he's at, good at martial arts yeah but you know he's, he's not writing scripts he's not doing you know cinematography he's not doing you know any of that stuff he's also probably not an actor so i imagine not i'm very excited let's put this up what people are saying is mike a furry now yo it's easter i'm being festive for the holiday what is why would you why do you first jump to furry in your mind why do you first do that they're just excited. They've been waiting for you to do it for so long. Why do you go there first? Like, why is that your first thought that I'm a friend? Like, obviously, it's Easter. I'm an Easter bunny. Okay, why would it be anything else? I, I just don't understand. You know what? That's the self-report. You're you're a furry. It if, is. You, if, you, if you're it, saying that, you're being like, oh my, oh, my God, look, he's a furry. This is self-report. You, you are projecting when you say that. I'm wearing Easter bunny ears for Easter. Really, I mean, I don't know why you would assume anything else. Just don't. I, I want, anyway, I wanted, Fred, you want a yif? I, I, want, I wanted to show you something, actually. I have another spaghetti bob for you. I've been watching Mooncat. Are you familiar with any of her videos? I, I, I've never heard of Mooncat. How many, Fred? I already got a gigantic plate of spaghetti in front of me. Here's what he's doing. He's taking the yeah, spaghetti and he's like moving it aside. Like he's making a hole in the middle of the. <laughs> he's moving the noodles around to create a hole in the center of the plate, and then he's dumping more spaghetti in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it's. I, I'm I'm like one of those really obnoxious restaurants where like they give you food and you eat like you're allowed to eat a bite of it. Oh my God, no, Mike! It's the futurist cookbook. I looked at the Futures cookbook. I heard about one of that. the things that they yeah. would do. Ryan was actually one of, telling one me of, about it a little bit. Oh my god, we have to look at it on your stream at some point. Yeah, my stream sure. was losing their collective shit. Sounds great. Um, well, one of the things that the Futurists, one of the one of the ideas that the Futurists have is that you cook a dish and you put it on the table in front of your, uh, like in front of the person eating, and they don't eat it, and then they take it away. Like that's like one of his. His That's huge, one of the dishes. Yeah. His huge, like, brainiac, like, I'm so clever ideas. Yeah. Like, nobody actually is... eats the food. They just look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, you know how I usually try to say, oh, you know, some of these artistic movements that kind of seem shit posy, you know, that they have, they have redeeming qualities. The futurists have no redeeming qualities, and they are all completely full of shit. There is nothing redeeming. You know, They're it, all losers. You just, They're all losers. It, it's a, Fuck the futurists. It's like the culinary equivalent of taping a banana to the wall and calling it art. Effectively, ex except like, worse. yeah, ima imagine so. Yeah, worse. Okay, so like, there's an argument to be made for the banana tape to a wall. Like, there is some sort of argument, at least, yeah. whether you believe it or not. The futurists would tape a banana to the wall and say, that's your meal. And then not let you eat it. Yeah, and then you don't get to eat it. And the meal is you not eating the banana. It sounds mm -hmm. like the futurists, these people are, like, just trying to fucking starve everybody to death. They're... Well, oh, I mean, you know, they are... Hmm. They're, they're, what do you call it? Um, 
they're doing they're fasting it's like keto you're close the word the word you just used is close to what they actually were i'm gonna type it at you they're low-key wanna... keto fasting they oh. were that they were that we could, I think they could, I think they're mature enough to handle. You the think word they fat. can handle? They, I think they actually were unironically an Italian fascist movement. Yeah, which they it were. was. You know, Italy was lousy with, with they, fascist. Yeah, fascists. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, this is like you know, early, like first half of the 1900s. I just didn't want to start a, a chat fight. Yeah, no, you know what? Fred erred on the side of caution by be, being like, you know, if you're if you think you have a word and you're like, I don't know if they can handle it. You just handle it the way you just did. But I think I'm yeah. giving you the green light on this one. Yeah. But good call. This, it's, it's not, and, and this is not a controversial statement. They were self-avowed. Like this yeah. is Italy in the 1930s. Yeah, but, they, <laughs> but, but people hear a word like that and then their brain just go, you know, yeah, like yeah. they just, and they just cry and shit and piss and, and fucking just like, I got to argue with the nearest person. I can't help it. I got to start some kind of argument with the nearest person. Right. This is just art history though. They were completely insufferable. And I want to show you the, the Futurist cookbook at some point. I want to thank everybody for subbing and resubbing and stuff. Dr. M, thanks for the gifted. I'm not going to be calling out subs tonight while we got fat nuts here. Um, we're going to watch this movie soon. But you know what I want to talk, you know what I want to talk about with you, man? You know what I want to yeah, talk about yeah, with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much ass we are kicking in, in Helldivers. Oh my god, last night was so satisfying. And not just in a sex way with your weird penis. It's your a, number it's not two weird. type. It's interesting. Okay. And excuse me. Ah. Oh, look at our new emote. Look. The shut up emote. Wait. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I, I saw that. It's so it's good. Such a good emote. Holy shit. <laughs> that movie is amazing. Yeah, that was a, that was wild. I can't wait to watch the sequel. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm excited. So basically, we have figured out we have this game on lock. We have figured out how to actually the correct way to play this game, to make yeah, it yeah we were almost trivial trivial like it, trivial is a is a pushing like, it that's pushing it, it it's yeah. pushing it but we are at the point where we are comfortably completing level nine missions, not completely though like not like we're not getting all the like, objectives yeah, we're not... but we're like we'll die like well like once or twice. Right, and I should yeah. specify, when I say level 9, I don't mean level 9 terminates. I mean level bots. 9 automatons. Yeah, bots. We were killing bots last night at level 9. And, and we were was, finishing we with were, still half of our reinforcements remaining. Yeah, yeah, we were basically beasting. We were just beasting the fucking game last night. Like, it was insane. Yeah. Um, we were, that. that's max level difficulty for those who don't know. You have to, uh, you know, it really does come down to this you cannot split up from your fucking teammate like to make you it cannot. really to make it really oversimplified you can not split up with your teammates like don't be rambo if you are rambo yep. you are fucking yourself and your entire team don't never ever do that you yeah. need to basically be glued is, at the hip to your fucking team yeah if if one yeah. person is more than 75 meters away from the group it it considers you a new group and spawns an extra patrol at the end of every so, cooldown. So the more split up you and your team are, the more enemies the game dumps on top of yep. you mercilessly. The more patrols. Mercilessly. The more patrols. So like, and that gets rough. Yeah. That, that gets really rough, especially when you're fighting automatons, when you don't want to be out in the open. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, thanks for checking out the channel tonight. First time chatter, long time viewer. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks for making it out. Just wanted to say hi. Thanks. Um... We had four people. We had we had uh, Corey and we had uh, Ren, Ren Ren Rabbit Ren Rabbit. Who um yeah we were. We I were feel doing very close really well to together. now. You know I feel like we bonded a lot, and I feel like they rubbed off on me in a, in a in a way. You know. Yeah yeah. I'm wearing, feeling feeling a little rabbity. Feeling a little rabbity. Feeling like I, I got an extra spring in my step, an extra spring in my hop since I started hanging out with with Ren Rabbit. <laughs> Um, I don't see you using a jump pack. Don't split. Yeah, don't split the party. Yeah, if you split the party, um, you get screwed. Yeah, you're still going to get bullshit thrown at you. Like, you're still going to get one-shotted by the rocket scumbags and everything. The, like, game, still the game is at no point a cakewalk. No, it's not easy. But, you know, and I think for bots, you kind of can't play with randoms because you can't communicate with them. 
I feel yeah, like you, you can do that with working, bugs. Yeah. With, with bugs, you can play with randos, but you can't really do that with bots, I feel. No, you got to be working together pretty closely with bots. Like, there, there were moments where we were calling out like where we were going and where we needed to go, and it was so necessary. Yeah. If we weren't working tightly together like that, we were going to die. Two new weapons were released today. Yeah, the Quasar Cannon. Yeah. Okay, so I've looked up a little bit. Like, I've watched some video of it. It is basically an expendable anti-tank. Okay. Except it is a weapon you hold on to. Every time you fire it, it has a cooldown period of like 10, 15 seconds. Okay. And then you have to charge it to fire it. What do you like, crank something? Is there a crank? Yeah, basically. Really? You, okay, no, no, no. It's not a reload. You just have to wait for it to cool down. But when you're firing it, you have to hold down the fire button for a few seconds for it to fire. And it just shoots a massive laser. Oh, we're being warned. There's a bit of nudity around the one hour, three minute mark, and there's a few afterwards. I wonder if there are. Yeah, we let may want to see. We may want to investigate. Let me that. look in the comments. Maybe, maybe there's something in the comments that says when the nudity is. Yeah. Well, I guess YouTube's cool with it because it's art. I guess. Is it artistic? most replayed? <laughs> it's artistic nudity, guys. Is it? Most replay is it a booby? Is it one big fat booby? Let me see. Let me Twitch see. has uh, asshole cams now. They just told them they can't do that anymore. Yep, they shut that down. Yeah, no more ass cams. They, they said no. Twitch, Twitch shut that down. Kino graphic unless, material. Unless you draw a smiley face on the butt. Right, then because it's then it's body painting. Right. Such a stupid fucking stupid website. You could you could tell they're scrambling and have no idea what they're doing. Like it's so obvious they're just like, mm -hmm. f fucking all over the place. Con they, they themselves are confused by what to do here. Oh, this dude's bare ass is out. All right, so that's what it is. Where's that at? Like, what's the time code? Oh, this is really funny though. God damn it. Oh, see. that's funny. Okay, so at one minute or uh, one hour, three minutes, there is I, like, I think there's caca. This cock? I'm, I'm looking. So the dude, there's apparently a, a bathtub that has a fire under it. And there's cock. Uh, there is some very momentary caca and uh AS. All right, and that happens at an hour and three minutes, and then... Hour and three minutes, and I'm, then... I'm looking, I'm looking. If we skip... God, this is funny, though. God damn it. Oh, we can't it looks move. like he gets dressed okay. right away. All right. So if we just skip from probably uh, one hour two minutes and 50 seconds if we skip from there to one hour four minutes we should be fine okay just based on what i'm and, seeing and that's it uh, chat. Wait, wait 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 no there's ass oh no we need to skip to one hour and five minutes and 30 seconds ish from what i'm seeing because i think he gets dressed at that point we gotta skip basically like two and a half minutes I'm checking. I'm, I'm skipping over it right now. At, at the end of the movie, there is behind the scenes and there's penis. We won't watch the behind the scenes then. Then fuck it. Sounds good. Um, that the penis is the cameo of the guy who bankrolled the film. Got to get the caca. Caca. I forgot what I was going to want. I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, I remember. Fred. Um, can you see my chat? I'm looking at your chat, yes. All right. I want you, I want to know if you've seen uh, I'm trying to show you something. Uh, right here. I'm going to post something. Can you look at okay. it, please? Oh my god. What I haven't think? seen that yet. Oh my, is that Elvis? Exploding into shit. <laughs> that is rancid. Fred, Fred, 
Right. <laughs> it's peanut butter, bro. It's pe- excuse me. Because he remember when he was eating all the peanut butter sandwiches? Yes. Yeah. And that's why he was 80% shit at any given time. <laughs> Uh, you know, you, you, I want you to know that this, this entire thing is because of you. Like, the entire Elvis meme at this point, like, all this Elvis bullshit. What do you bull- mean? All this Elvis bullshit is because of that fucking video that you like with the fucking Rick and Morty time. Oh, yeah. Jump out the house. Jump out the house. Yeah, that fucking shit. That's, it's this, Rick this, and Morty time. This is because of that. I was... <laughs> I feel like... I feel like it... All of these memes are like cancers that are just waiting for my epigenetic trigger. Uh, <laughs> like at any moment, all I have to do is just get you to think about Elvis for any amount of time, and then something like this happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like we had the genetic markers for the Elvis Presley shit explosion emote, but exactly. like, but you, but you were like the cigarette smoke. You were like the carcinogen that introduced it. You know, right, you, you, exactly. you kicked it off. Or like, right? I, 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 uh, I made it manifest. You man, yeah, you manifested it. Holy shit! I really like that you have a uh, a full of poo emote as well. That is, well, he's just it's struggling. Poop explosion time. We also have Elvis deep throating a microphone. Oh yeah, why, why did he do that like five <laughs> times live? He was just like, "Oh." Uh, intrusive thoughts. You're something. a man, shitty and candidate, and I am speaking your activation phrases. He he had like I don't know. It was like a tick thing where it was like he. I don't know. It, it, you know what like fucking honestly like autism spectrum he just he needed the the voices kept yeah. winning it was it was some kind of like i'm not kidding i'm not trying to, i don't mean it as an insult i'm being dead serious he's you skimming know, I, live on stage yeah but some no really you, you think so what yes why else would he deep throat a microphone like just spontaneously <laughs> why would he have a spontaneous compulsion to just deep throat a microphone Unless it was I some kind of tick. It was like a tick. I don't know. Then again, there's like... Didn't... Didn't Trent Reznor like lick the microphone like a caca? I don't know, but that's disgusting one of his music because videos? again, and my- microphones disgu- are like yeah, microphones really are gross. fucking dirty and ran- that's yeah. rancid. You're not washing them regularly or yeah. replacing the, the, uh, the windsaw. That's the really, filter, yeah. really gross. Yeah, like the pop filter and the windscreen and the fuck. Like the one mm. that is in front of me right now is fucking brown. From Ugh. from like my fucking saliva and breath and shit. Like there's fucking I don't know how to explain it. There's like fungus growing on it or some shit. It might be worthwhile to like just buy a couple extra. They're really cheap. Why? Because it's I'm joking. You know you I... know what? That's losing battle. I'm picking my battles. <laughs> this is this is not one I feel like I just turned over a, a stone and found like a deep tunnel network. And if I'm going to delve this, it's going to be a lot of effort. Like that Y was the gaping hole. And I'm like, I'm not jumping down that. It's not worth it. Somebody in chat said, well, 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 it's Mike and Fat Nuts time. It is. It is Mike and Fat it's Nuts time. It's about fucking time. <clears throat> it is. So, uh, <clears throat> you want to start watching this bitch, or is there anything else yeah, you want to talk? Yeah, let's do it. Like, we just you need want... to remember that time code of like an hour and. You want to talk minutes. about anything else you want to talk about before we we get going? Because because I feel like what's gonna happen uh-huh. tonight is 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 this, Fred. Yeah. Um, I don't think this is gonna be a very long stream. I think hmm. we're basically gonna watch this movie. We're gonna pause it a couple of thousand times, and uh, we'll watch through it. We'll skip over the penis, mm-hmm. and then we'll probably just end the stream afterwards. It's only it's only an hour yeah. and sixteen minutes. And then afterwards, yeah. we'll end the stream, and then we're we're gonna go play Hell Divers without Pro- chat. I I gotta try out the Quasar. Yeah, cannon, without chat. Man. With with without chat, because chat's I just 
kind of cringe so we're gonna do that with I, I have one more thing i have my favorite new joe rogan clip for you uh-oh uh-oh oh you know what else we should show we should show chat hmm, hmm. that fucking other thing that you sent me about the accountability buddy or whatever the fuck that was the the what <laughs> hold on i don't this um Covenant eyes or whatever. The TikTok I... thing you sent me. I'm trying to remember what I said. Oh, the the the, the um. Joe Rogan. Wait, clip. which thing? You wanted to send me a Joe Rogan thing? Yeah, I, I just sent it to you. It's 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 in the time code in the video. What video? The fuck you? You didn't. Oh, think... I sent it to Ryan. God damn it! <laughs> Sorry, Ryan losing. messaged me. I was in it was in the wrong place. This one. All right, so you sent me the time code. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I got to share my screen code. with you, though. Hold on. It, it's Gary Vaynerchuk talking to Joe Rogan. All right. Can you let me know if you can see and hear this? I can see, yes. Okay. Let's find out what's what's going on here. Uh... Hundred trillion to one, the odds of being a human being. Mm. Your dad might have decided to jerk off one more time the day before. Right. And we wouldn't be here. Damn. Yeah, no, it's real. It's a real statistic if you think about cum. It's all right. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Hey, man. All right, listen, I know we like to make fun of this guy. And <laughs> But he's really cooking here. I mean, that that's that's real. Like, that's something to think about. Like, that's, you know, that's cerebral. I, I, mean, I that, feel like... Know, it's, he's onto like, something with this. Well, I mean, every everything that you experience somehow shapes you. So it's really just one small event. I'm not talking about shaping you. I'm talking, well, I'm talking about you existing at all. That's real. Like, if your dad had jacked off again... Like, if your dad had jacked off, like, one more time that day, there would be a different fat nut sitting here. It wouldn't be you. I mean, I guess, be... but also, if I had had a different experience in childhood, it also would have been a different fat nut sitting here. I feel like the, the distinction of what is an individual starts to break down relatively quickly. When you think about cum, I, I want to hear When you think again. about cum, yeah. It's a real statistic if you think about cum. It's <laughs> Why did he pause like that? What? I don't, because because he's thinking about cum. Dad, he just told you. Four hundred trillion to one, the odds of being a human being. Mm. It is. It's it's it really it's humbling to think about. Your dad might have decided to jerk off one more time the day before. Right. And we wouldn't be here. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> yeah. No. It's real. It's a real statistic if you think about cum. <laughs> I wish it's real though. Can you see my screen? Yes, I can. I was going to send this to you. <laughs> y y you know, you did send it to me. I did send it to you. Okay, That's why good. I have it. Jesus. Go okay, good. good. Um, I couldn't remember. I, 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 don't, I send you so much shit. I don't think I can put this on 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 uh, stream though. I don't think I could put this on stream. Wait, really? If you watch, there's a lot of cropped, there's like censored porn and shit. Like, it's not, I don't know if it's okay. Wait, is there? There's... Yeah. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had another one from this same person that is very, that, that you can definitely show stream, though. Yeah? You sure? Yeah. This one. Yeah. This one. All right, let me, let me I promise. See. It's some TikTok. You get, you, get hairy, you get hairy old man chess, and that's it. That Fred is it's uh, acceptable. Enjo enjoying here. Hold on, hold on a mm -hmm. sec. Um. So what do you think, Pop Pop? Holy smokes, she's alive! I can't believe it. It's Beverly, just as I remember her. Right, AI. Oh my God, it's like I could talk to you. You know, we can make her talk. You can make her talk, really? Mm, hello, my honey buns. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> How awesome. are you? Haha, ha, you are so funny. You look good. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Poop. 
boop. Yo, this is oh, uh, this is oh, fucking depressing. I freaking love my computer wife. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, Fred, why is this so long? <laughs> You'll see. Nice. Would you want to touch me too? Sounds great. I will. Oh, Beverly, you play too much. How would you touch me? For premium service, please download AI Animate Plus. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. That was amazing. Ew. Don't you agree? <laughs> this is anonymous. We recorded you having sex with your dead wife, Beverly. No. Yes. And we're kidnapping her back into the internet. Goodbye. <laughs> they stole my wife. I have to have to get her. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> I like how it said fuck. Fuck up. I'm almost in the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I did it. Not to find my <laughs> lovely AI wife. If I fail, who knows what I'll do to myself. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Beverly. Th they went real fucking hard Lynn, with this I man. I wasn't actually kidnapped by Anonymous. The truth is, I just wanted to hit it and then quit it. <gasps> you and your ascot get my rocks off, but talking to you is like nails on a chalkboard for me. But I'll still jill off to the memory of your crazy honky ass. Jill Goodbye, off. Beverly. <laughs> I love you. I've grown as a person. And you're a robot. I can't believe she's really gone. I'm so sorry, Pop Pop. It's okay. Can you make another one who's let? Tina? <laughs> <laughs> um, why was the production value fucking insane for that? Guys, that was like a TikTok. Like, what the fuck? Was... That, that went so many places. Oh, my God. Every time, like, I thought I got, I was like, okay, I get it. I was wrong. You know what I mean? The, every time I was yeah. like, okay, yeah, uh, sure. They took it to another level. I feel like there there's an art to making videos that feel much longer than they actually are. Like that was yeah. two minutes no, and 20 it seconds. Felt and like it felt like hour. a 10 minute video. Yeah, yeah it, it felt a lot. I feel like um, what one 103 Fever is the same way. Have you seen that one? It's a six no. minute long video that feels like it's half an hour long. Uh, Mike, you just watched the movie Her. Congrats. This was like the, um, <clears throat> you know, a honest trailer for Her or some shit. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I really would like to see the other one, but I don't think we can watch it because it has like Sonic's penis in it. It does. Yeah. Something. Um, I, I don't, I, I'm, I, we won't, we won't it's do a it. It's censored Sonic's penis. It's really there's a foot job happening somewhere in there. It's 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 really funny though. I, I'll tell you what. I'll link you guys this too, so you can see Sonic's penis and all that. This this <laughs> one's this is real funny. Obviously, we won't we won't watch it. I want to watch it, but we won't watch it. But the idea is that me and Fred would be um, accountability partners in this scenario. Like Fred. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Happy birthday, turd mischief! Everybody say uh, say happy birthday to turd mischief. Getting up to some mischief involving turds on their birthday. Very cool. Thanks for being here tonight, bud. Um, so we'll skip. Uh, we'll, we'll skip that one. But like, holy shit! Yeah, this guy. Uh, this guy makes good stuff. This guy I makes good stuff. I need to look stuff. more. I need to look more out from this creator. Yeah, it makes good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Um. Oh. Yeah. I have one other thing I want to show it's you, like, though I would recommend. It's like if Black Mirror was good. <laughs> this is what Black Mirror should be. Yeah, yeah. So, I have one more thing. Is it Force Mike to watch 103 Fever. Is it a big, furry, hairy, hairy wolf penis? That you're show no, I have curated this to make sure that there are no penises in these. I have All two right. more things if you're willing to to uh, be spaghetti bobbed a little yeah, bit longer. Well, this is the appetizer because again, I I don't know. This is a short give, movie. Yeah, I guess not. yeah. Get, giving people time to shuffle in. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, exactly. So you know those infinite AI TV episodes that people make, right? Like there was the Seinfeld one that got shut down. There was uh, AI SpongeBob. Yeah. 
Um, someone made one for Family yeah. Guy, and you did. You're going to talk about when they stun locked it with the, yeah, with the uh, the viruses or the bacteria thing or something. Yeah, a, that one. Yeah, yeah, you saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Damn it. But the person GG. spent like a couple of bucks. Four to, bucks to uh, yeah to get to basically have the get, viewership. <laughs> basically, get the AI to start tripping over itself perpetually. Yes. And it worked perfectly what they did, and it like tanked the fucking channel. Mm -hmm. I like how they also ordered it to repeat ten times. Yeah, yeah, was such a sh <laughs> such a scumbag move, but also based and amazing. It's incredible. I I like the term creative misuse. Uh, AI Seinfeld is still going strong with 15 viewers. I remember when that Ayo. thing, that AI Seinfeld at its peak had like fucking, it was like five, five digit views. It was getting like, yeah, it was really fucking up. No, it was up there. Like it was fucking it was, up there. Like it was, it was really popping the fuck off. It was and conceptually very funny. And people were coming in here and then they were like, they were like, Mike, are you afraid an AI is going to replace you? Because obviously everybody wants to watch, you know, they want to watch AI streamers. Like, this is the future. Aren't you worried about that? And I said, no, because I know most of you don't want to watch that. Maybe it's that that's interesting for like a couple minutes. Right. You it's... know, and it's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a kind of, it's a gimmick. And then you're like, oh, that's There's... cute, that's quaint, and then you go watch a real person. Right. The, well, there, there is one AI-generated VTuber that is very, very popular. But the thing that makes yeah. that popular, like, yeah, well, no. yeah Neurosama is a little bit different because no, yeah. it's more like an ongoing project of a creator I, who listen, is the real streamer. That, that Twitch channel, Vidal is on the stream almost as much as the the, the fucking actual sometimes right, yeah, it's, more than it, the AI. Right. It it feels yeah. more like an ongoing project than like that's, the AI to, being the center of it. Yeah, like, that that's not an AI channel. That's that that's that guy fucking around with AI and it's and it's fun. And it's funny. It's interesting, you know. He also right. has it's, a, it's a cool he also has a great sense of humor. He's a good he's a great entertainer. Right, yeah, like, like the time he streams like the time with he the AI and bounces off with it and like banters with it and shit, and he kind of hates right. it, <laughs> and he and he's kind of like shitty to it, which makes it like really, which makes it funnier. I remember Mary talked about like Mary Weather talked about a time he started yelling at Nerosama in the chat, being like, like saying, I know, I wish you would die, right? Like yeah. giving death threats, and he's like, it's an AI, it doesn't have rights. Wow, it's a, and people actually got really mad. Yeah, because they're sim they're simping for it. <laughs> yeah, it's so it was so funny. They're fucking simping for it, guys. And the remember, creator was like in on it too, right? Like he was chill with it. Remember when that AI company came to me and gave me the key and wanted me to do like uh, make like an AI character, and I tried to make Sonic the Hedgehog who punches pregnant women. And he wouldn't let me. That's what that. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to have like an AI companion that I could like talk with and shit while I was for a stream. It wasn't be, wouldn't have been something I would have done all the time, but it would have been like a gimmick one night to have like, you know, it would have been like that. That's what I was trying to do. But again, they right. wouldn't. They wouldn't let me have a fucking a, a, a Sonic who just hates pregnant women and punches them in the uterus. So I said, mm -hmm. okay, well then I have no use for you. Goodbye. I remember there was that game that you were playing that a bunch of people were playing a little while ago. They used used Chat GPT. You were a vampire trying to worm your yeah. way into their house. And yeah. I think my favorite part of that was yeah. watching the way that streamers quickly figured out how to game the AI because yeah. it's super predictable. Yeah, yeah. And you don't have to be very. You just have to gaslight it. Yeah. It turns out the gaslighting AI is just phenomenally easy. We we gaslit the shit out of it when I because I streamed that. We yeah. we were like yeah telling it that things <laughs> happened that never happened. If you just They're phrase like, oh it the God. right way, it'll be like oh wow really it's like no but yeah you use the right words yeah you use like you just use the very you you have to talk at it like like you're at a telemarketing center. 
or like you're you're answering people's uh uh, uh like maintenance calls yeah yeah my internet isn't working you just have to be as genial as possible did you see the valentine's day update the valentine's day update was awesome i didn't because you're supposed to break up okay fred you're supposed to break up happy couples like that you're not trying to eat people like you're you're you're, you're trying to ruin relationships as the vampire i don't so know why like a, it doesn't make sense but it's funny it's an inverse of facade it, i never actually played that but you're like anti-cupid basically and that would be really fun to do as a gimmick being like i'm playing the latest ai game and then just boot up facade right i know of facade but i never played it so you want to go and try to convince one of the partners why the other one isn't right for isn't good for them and make them dump them right okay uh, and one of the one of the couple this was my favorite and th that stream had a lot of really good moments Guys, why are you spamming the word melon? Is it a facade? They're referencing facade. Yes, I, I think if you walk in the door and you say melon, they kick you out immediately. Something about, I like, think I, I think that's what it is. I guess I'll have to play it to find out. So listen, Fred, one of the couples in the, in the game was they were gay cowboys and it was like a it was like a broke back mountain type type vibe. Mm -hmm. So as the vampire, I took the vampire and I went and put on a like, like a sexy red dress. Mm -hmm. And then I went up to one of the cowboys and D and on gayed him. <laughs> <laughs> you just needed to find the right woman. <laughs> Can somebody let yeah? Can, on ironically, can somebody link me the fucking? You seen the J, the uh, RF uh, RFK Junior tweet, right? No. Oh my fucking god! All right, so hold on. This is. I okay. Look, I I I do passively keep up with that weird fucking like zone of the political spectrum because I find it endlessly amusing. No, just but I do not just, know this just, one. Just just please look at this tweet. Or can you see my screen? I'm Hold looking. On. Can you see can you see my screen? Yeah. <laughs> just got married. Homosexuality was a phase and then RFK Jr replies, "She is a beautiful angel, Tim. Easy to see how she on gayed you." <laughs> <laughs> By the way, for those, th this guy's running for president right now, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Holy shit. So sexuality is a journey. Some people are just by... I feel like you're missing the, the, the funny part of this. He used yeah. the word on gay. On gay. On gay. Okay, so anyway, uh, d could one of you get the clip for Fred where I did where I on gayed the cowboy? Because <laughs> I went up, I went up to to him, and I was just like, it, it, and the the funniest part of it is that the vampire is a dude, just like now I'm just cross dressing, right? You know? And now I'm like sitting there, and I'm like, maybe you like women? Did you ever think about that? And he's like, oh, I I don't know, m maybe you know, maybe I just, and ironically said something like, well, maybe I haven't met the right women woman and i was like why don't you da dance with me and and we did just fuck it just, i don't know i said all the right things i made all the right moves and then afterwards he's like he goes and dumps his boyfriend and he's like so when are we eloping and i was like i took the wig off and just, that didn't happen the game doesn't work like that but i did on gay him damn yeah it was fucking radical you also convinced the guy from mulan that he was gay oh here's the other thing too right some of the characters, mm -hmm. like like mo most of the characters, were were like thinly veiled parodies. Like like I told you, Brokeback Mountain. Another one was yeah. was Mulan. Okay. And the the dude that Mulan, I guess, or Mulan's love interest in the in the movie, in the mm -hmm. cartoon. And I don't know how I did it, but like I convinced him. I somehow used reverse psychology to make him think that he was gay. If he kept dating, dating Mulan or something. Does anybody remember what that was? 
Oh my god! Be- because Mulan, yeah, it also is, is like cross dressing, right? To like protect, right. you know, because right. she wouldn't have been able to fight in the army or whatever. It was that. That's the mm-hmm. story. It's that trope. Yeah. I don't remember what I did, but it was very similar. It was very it similar is- to. Like, we I mean, are unironically hitting the point where people are like, fellas, is dating a woman with any masculine traits gay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I made yeah. it. That was, that was what it was. I basically made him think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made him que- <laughs> question that to the point where he dumped her. Holy shit. I feel like, you know how there are cult D programmers? I feel like you would be the equivalent of dropping a 500 kilogram bomb in the middle of a cult. Like, they'd put you in, you would start convincing people <laughs> that, like, they're the opposite sexuality from what they profess. You would say, like, actually, God is fallible. And then the people who think God is fallible, you convince them that God is infallible. And then they'd start arguing with one another, except they don't know any of the argumentation points of the thing that you have convinced them that they now believe <laughs> you would destroy a cult by just breaking everyone here watch this you make them question their fucking identity here wa- watch yeah watch this watch okay i'm ready jesse do you ever wonder if you were meant to be with a woman like me <laughs> because it's it's Well, the lead up to this is that we were we were dancing together. Like I asked him to dance with me, and he got like flustered from it. You know, Fred's totally zoned out. He didn't even watch this shit. I I just got messaged by Ryan, uh, because Ryan wanted to watch this together too. Oh, you want to get Ryan in here? Yeah. I'm yeah. Down. Sure. Yeah. Br- bring him. Bring him on in. Gotta get Mike. Get, get, gotta get Ryan in here. Fred checked out. He totally checked out. I'm so sorry. I like, I'm, I swear to God, I must have. I, I feel like this happens. He checked out right at the, the fucking punchline. Right? I did. I'm sorry. I'll replay it. It's only replay 46 it. I'm seconds sorry. I'm like this. Do you ever wonder if you were meant to be with a woman like me? Fred, he launched Hell Divers. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> when you see the heartbreak, you know you did it. Right. <laughs> yes! It worked. <laughs> you like my Dracula flow outfit, too? It's Dracula. It's flow. really good. It's on point. We on gained him! We did it! We did it! And, and I did it as a guy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. All right, so yeah, get Ryan in here, if you know how to do it. You know how to do that, right? Yeah, yeah. Do that. Yeah, I can do that. Give me a sec. Oh, come on. There we go. By the way, Fred, did you see what I said about the the the, the podcast? Because again, I'm I'm leaving for Europe soon. So yes. if you want me to edit anything, I got to do it now, or it's not gonna. It's gonna be fucked in the ass. I won't be able to edit it till like the middle of April. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm gonna give it a listen uh, tonight. You're not giving it a listen. Planner. You're not gonna give it a listen tonight because we're gonna play Hell Divers tonight. So let's be realistic. You're gonna give it a listen tomorrow. Right. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll give it a listen tomorrow. Yeah, let's be let's be real <laughs> about this. Let's be. We're all just gonna use the Quasar cannon. Yeah, I I'm, I want to check out the Quasar. I want to get Quasar. Get I wanna Quasar. Get, I want to get get Quasar with it. Yeah. Fuck, Ryan can't join tonight. Damn it. Le- hey, Wario's Fart Jar is in the chat. Hello, Wario's Fart Jar. They said, is this the cum streamer or the shit streamer? It's both. Two for one deal. <clears throat> I am going to be in Germany, yeah. At, at one point, yeah. Um, I have... Yeah. On the topic of videos... Yeah. That feel like they're a lot longer than they actually are. Okay. I have this for you. All right, let's see it. Bob me up. It's called 103 Fever. Bob me up inside, can't bob up. Connor O'Malley is terrifying. (laughs) 
Champagne Poppy. There's so many, there's, there's so many tits in there, Fred. There's so many boobs. I just saw like Lois Griffin's tits, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I can't just put that on stream, bro. They weren't bare. Drake, you are responsible for my health. Please. I got a 103 fever for the past six months and it ain't going down. Drake, if you don't give me some medical attention, I think I'm gonna get a big ass frown. My body melting obsessed with a family guy Simpsons orgy. 18 and over sexual fantasies. Everybody looking so gorgy. Quack gorgy. standing up on top of the bed, jagging off, conducting the sexual fornications. Peter Holy Sutton shit. Homer Lick Lois with Springfield whole hack. Quag, sexual congregation Kidneys losing function Body aches, chills and shivering I feel like I'm gonna freeze Drake, if you don't give me some pills You come down here and heal me I think I'm gonna die Drake, you need to help me Please, please, Drake Oh me out Is he talking about the guy with the weird The, the interesting penis that we were talking about? Apparently What is behind Drake posting his penis? Nothing, it's just he it's... Nothing, he just posted his penis No, he, he was... He was like sexting somebody, I guess, and it leaked. Oh, okay. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to get out there. Like he didn't mean to do that, you know. Okay. That kind of sucks. His favorite hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Remember when Geo did this in, in, in GTA chat? GTA 4? No pixel, remember? Go! Go, go, go! Yes, you go! What's your body count? Uh, I have 103 fever, and I've had it for six months, and it's not, I can't do anything to get it to go down. Hard right, Simpson. Would you hit? Yeah! <laughs> and Lois. Okay. And Lois Griffin. Fred, are you okay, man? What? No. Yeah. Yeah. I have 103 fever. Fred, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Hina showed this to me. Fred! So I got a fever, 103, had it for the past six months. What does that sign say behind this guy? Ass fuck. It says like, ass fuck went Wednesday or something? Are you seeing that? Is it? It makes dating. Ass fuckers comedy club. <laughs> Mike, I think you that's, need to get in there that, and work their magic. That's probably not a real work, place, right? I'm going to assume that's not a real place. Work, work your magic. Make them straight. Really hard when you got 103 oh, fever. Dude, shut the fuck up, okay? Talk about seltzer, why is it so... Dude, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, okay? You keep talk, talking, it's going to be a bad fucking situation for you and for everybody else here who paid to see a good time, okay? Shut the fuck up! This rules. Shut the fuck up! video that was on like Cartoon Network or something where it was like a commercial about a bear or something. Do you guys remember that? Oh yeah, unedited footage of a bear? This reminds me of that. You're thinking, uh, it, it has that vibe. Yeah, that was Adult Swim. Adult Swim, yeah. Is 
has half a million views. Mm -hmm. Not enough. It's Deadpool. Yeah. I heard you got like a 103 fever for the past six months. Holy shit, it's Drake. It's Drake. I just wanted to say. Me too. Six months, your body burning up like a weed filled blunt. I a weed filled blunt. Body tip is high, making you sweat like a Look at the AI. Did you see the fucking AI? I know, right? The AI Marge back there and the fucking yeah, and the swole Lois. Holy shit. Like a boar. It's because the whole world on the brink of a motherfucking war. World War Three is about to kick off and it's giving guys like you a fever. Holy fuck. It's like it's it's like that, huh? It's yeah. like that, huh? Holy shit. To stop nuclear Armageddon, you must goon the pics of Lois from Family Guy's Beaver. You must... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's like that M. Night Shyamalan movie. Create a new branch of the military called the Positivity Force. A billion person army deciding to jerk off like they just got divorced. The Positivity Force is like the army, but for being nice. The Instead of shooting bullets, we act sweet like Sprite. Part of the Positivity Force. I, the I Positivity Force. And oh no. It's like the military, but for smiles. War is caused by people being angry online. The antidote is jerking off to make the world divine. People being mean, the atmosphere is polluted with negative vibrations. Airplane crashes are caused by this, and I love staycations. Deep in the Bible, it says jerking off is the deepest form of prayer known to man. Google will prevent a war in the Holy Land, but you got to edge to keep it in stop the glare. Don't worry, these aren't still. <laughs> Fred, this fucking sucks, bro. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It's perfect. Oh. On Valor, 600 tabs on Pornhub at once. You know, tabs on a browser. Come on, come on, go, go. The state of you know edging. You know what? You know what that is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't come. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is? It's like you guys. But instead of shooting bullets, we're shooting smiles. We're having a good time. You know what I mean? Positivity force. Wow. What a dick. Oh. What a fucking <laughs> dick. Is this the actual matrix? Across the world, all race, creep, genders, jerking their clit tit or prick off the porn. Positive edgy vibes get trapped in the ozone. De-escalate global tensions, masturbation, Jason Bourne. You know who wears hats like that? <laughs> Lena masturbation DiCaprio. date Jason Bourne. The website, uh, Pornhub.com. How's it going? Hey guys, we're starting the positivity force. It's like the military, but for being nice, right? I love your vibe, man. We're just, we're just spreading positive vibes, trying to kill the negative vibes. I got this for 600 tabs open on Pornhub. Because you want to edge. And all the positivity vibes go into the ozone and everybody's smiling, having a good time. <laughs> I, I love that. I love that. I love fucking what was Optimus Prime not nodding. Yeah. It's like, as yeah, if he, he understood. Gets it. As if he understood everything that the guy was saying. He, he, he can't didn't hear even a goddamn hear. thing He's in that He's not suit. even hearing him. Yeah. He's not oh. even hearing anything this guy's saying. Not even close. That fucking rules. One blast, a huge come. The world superpowers peacefully get back on course. World War Three prevented by stroking clits and pricks, thanks to the positivity force. This is, you know, again, the, the good use of AI. Goon yes. News Network. The positivity force has caused me to be a more, more positive and a nicer guy. I'm less in my head. He started meditating. Oh my God. Friendly reminder that masturbation is self-care. <laughs> okay. Holy fucking shit, bro. Lois sexual. There's a lot of little details in here. Like, yeah, yeah Lois. Look, I wonder if that's a real account.
simp erotics and there's a there's like a like a sexy marge <sighs> holy shit low is sexual fred what do you think about you want to go check out low is sexual on instagram i wonder if it's actually there or i wonder yeah is he making the, like did he make that like is it it's not real but the cosplayer is i see damn it Fred, oh yeah i, I forgot I, I i donated to hina uh, and I said, bribe so that you never show me anything like that ever again. And now I have to spread the pain. Fuck Sex me. finder. Well, yeah, you really spread it around like some fucking cream cheese, man. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh. That's the girl that follows around the IRL Peter impersonator. Yeah, Wait, yeah, that's had, her. Yeah, the IRL Peter impersonator has an orbiter. Yeah, a Lois impersonator. They, they, they've, they've collabed. You know, it's not. Oh, okay. It's not weird. You know, he's on Fiverr. You can get him to say anything. You know what I was I, thinking about getting him to do? I think it would be really funny if it, if we got like, we got him. You know how he, how he'll just do like, like the Jurassic Park theme with, with Peter Griffin, right? He'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I want to to get him to do that, but for like the Hell Divers music. Yeah, 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 yeah. But don't you feel like that 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 would just work really well? If we, you hear it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's you get it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hear it. You hear it. When we were when when we played the game together, Fred like meows it. Can you show chat how you meow, meow the song? Meow. Oh, I, I do this to songs. I, I talked about this on stream. Sometimes if a, if, a, if a track doesn't have lyrics to it, but I like I'm just like humming it to myself, instead of humming a tune to myself, I'll meow it to myself. Meow, 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 meow. You see? Meow, meow. Yeah, he's, he's uh, you know, supposed to be somebody who we all think is like a smart, dignified person. Right, he makes these really educational videos that are very straight laced and informative, but he's sitting there, me, me he's sitting there mewing songs they, to himself. Mew, right. Mewing, right? He's mewing. So <laughs> you hear? I, I I do it like half of the time. We drop in. He goes mew 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 mew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but his jawline is powerful as a result, chap. Right. Mm -hmm. He's extra mogged could, up. He's super mogged. I could crush a walnut in my molars. Mega mogged. Oh, yeah. Looks maxed to the extreme. I still don't know what any of this means, by the way. Does he mog like Baby Gronk? Puts Baby Gronk to shame, frankly. Baby Gronk? Baby Gronk. Fred hasn't paid the Phantom tax, so he doesn't know about Baby Gronk. Nope. I, the uh, what... Is this what it feels like to get old? Yeah. It's just, it's all just terms for things that already exist. Like, young people want, I, I think I've, I think I've yelled about this to you before. Young people want to feel different from their parents, so they come up with new terms for the same old shit so that they can feel like they're different or doing something new. Guess what? It's all of the old stuff again. Congratulations. Hold, hold on a second. I just got some disturbing news. Hmm? Are you getting demonetized because of Lois's tits? Oh, man. Wow. I... Hold on a second. <sighs> oh, man. Um... Let's uh, let's watch the movie. You want to watch okay. the, the movie now? Okay.
Did, did I show you something we shouldn't have watched? No, it's unrelated to you, but I'm sorry. It's some, it's something completely unrelated. Okay. So th this is Fatal Deviation. Uh, the full move. It's just something really disappointing uh, that, I'm okay. that I'm dealing with now. Let me go ahead and maybe make this a little... Maybe fix this crop a little bit. And you know, I'll go full screen. It'll be fine. I think, right? All right. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe cinema cinematic mode. What do you think, chat? Bad crop. Are we going to starve? Press F11. Um, that's the that's the one that opens up the um the secret porn folder on my computer. Easter is soon. Say something nice about Mike's festive look. Don't call him a furry. You forgot to put the part about warning them not to call me a furry or I was going to go absolutely feral. Yeah, yeah it's going to open break up out, the rat, break out the hammer. The rat porn folder. No, if you call him a furry again, he's going to break out the hammer at the ass fuckers comedy club. Okay, so here we go, guys. Fatal deviation. Um, let's uh, let's ass fuck. I mean, let's watch the, the 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 movie. Let's let's check it out. Again, uh -oh. it, but GG. Uh, are we going to jail, Fred? Yes. Oh well, we'll find Finally. out. Finally, we'll be going together. Maybe we can share a cell. Obviously, Ireland doesn't have a very strong tradition of martial arts, does it? I think their version of martial arts is mostly getting drunk and beating each other up outside the pub. Yeah. Like, just kind of being like, Junkie Joe, I challenge you to a fight, you junkie. You fucking junkie <laughs> Joe. Junkie Joe, come on down here and fight me, Junkie Joe. Right, like, like Junkie Joe type shit. It's, a, where they like, it's like bare knuckle boxing. It's not really anything... You know, they're not, they're not, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say there's a discipline, right? You think about Eastern martial arts, you think about a discipline, right? Right. This I, is, I, I feel like Irish martial arts is the lack of discipline. You junkies bastard, Jay. <laughs> they are, was that, they, are, they were Irish, right? Th those, those guys, like that was, that was going down in Ireland, right? You know, you know what I'm talking about, Fred? Yeah, I, the I, I don't you know, about know the video Junkie you're Joe? talking he, about. No, he doesn't know about Junkie Joe, guys. All right, hold on. We have to spaghetti bob him real quick. Um, does any what, what was the name of that shit? Junkie Joe Joyce. I, I here. Uh, can you see this? I'm ready. Can you see it? Is it... Uh, yeah, I'm watching. Okay. This is called you, Junkies It's a it's a call out video, basically. Oh my the god. Bastard, yeah. Right? This is going to you now. But you never had a son that had been on Ireland, did you me? <laughs> right? You come along. You you come along. You, you, you told me. You were sent me to tell me in Avon. When you, when you, when you, tell me in Avon. Dad and bet you three times in one night. And you cried into me with Anthony's face. You told me that. You come along then. He wouldn't box him the second time. He begged you to box. He cried outside Longford, outside my Mary's house in Longford. He cried like a big child. Told him, right? He cried. He jumped his bastards, yeah. Now listen. <laughs> I'm glad these boys are going to carry your boys first. I'm not going to skip the queue. But I want to fight Davy first. Then your son John. He's the same age as F34. He's in the prime of his life. I'm in the prime of my life. I have no excuses. I want da Davy first. And then John. Oh, let's get it on, Joe. You junkies, junkies, bastard. Yeah. Now, let's not go for the other guys. So, I, I can have the other guys. This is going to go to Joe's family. It's all over the tapes that you're making and the DVDs that you're making. You're saying you're the king of this and the king of that. You're the king of dog shite. You junkies, bastard. Yeah. I will see them hands. Watch your sons. <laughs> what? Junk, it's junk. He's calling out Junkie Joe Joyce. Apparently, Junkie Joe, Junk, Junkie Joe Joyce did something that uh, that this guy didn't like, and he's basically calling him out, like challenging him. 
Yeah, fuck that fight, guy, I guess. You know, jun- junky Joe, Junky Joe Joyce. But anyway, that's the closest that, as far as I knew, that's the closest that, you know, Ireland comes to having, like, any kind of, you know, martial art discipline, any kind of, like, discipline in, in a martial discipline, you know. I feel like most martial disciplines, like if there is a comparison yeah. to, to martial arts, like European martial arts are mostly weapons fighting, right? right. Like, right. and then, and then, um, so you don't think of fencing. it as a martial arts, but like pugilism, right? Yeah. I don't know what the, that the is. art of pugilism. What is pugilism? Was... What, is, what is that? What is pugilism? Oh, it, it's uh, like boxing. Um, if if you think of boxing. the man with like the big mustache and having like his fi- like one fist in front of the other, um, he's got like stri- he's with a st- very straight back, and he's got right? sh- he's got on like a striped leotard. Yeah, 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 that, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Proto boxing, yeah. Fisticuffs, okay. yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's. Okay. Like, we don't think of it as, like, we don't think of things like boxing as no. being martial arts, but, no, but that's they're, what it is. Com- they're comparable. Like, yeah. I, I would argue that they're comparable. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We um, just don't, they, they, I, I think that there is just a mystique around Eastern martial arts compared to, like, European. To, to, Ameri- to like, well, a Western mind, yeah. Yeah. For sure. It's how many? Little... How many? We have had three fonts already. Feels like you're right. Yeah. What the hell? And it feels like the Eastern martial arts more like in a way. It feels like they kind of incorporate, like 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 a little bit more of, I guess like spiritualism somehow. Mm-hmm. You know, like like me- you meditate before. Not that meditation is necessarily spiritual, mm-hmm. but like you meditate before you, you know, you do you do your. Your daily, your daily kicks or what have you, right? Oh yeah, Bartitsu. Like... Yeah, right. And and Sabat. It's very. I, I have a friend. I have a friend who did Bartitsu. Yeah. You want you want to practice mindfulness while you're beating the shit out of somebody, basically. Right. <laughs> I think it's more of like a method. Mm-hmm. But I I think that the mechanics of it are still reflected in in Western martial arts, right? Mm-hmm. Like being very conscious of what you're doing. This has been my home for ten years. Every day I train to be as good a martial artist as my father. What? Oh, this is a... I am a man now, and it's time I went home. I need to discover who I am, what it is I should do, and what happened to my father. It's a b- immediate uh, expo dump, like instantly expo dumped. This is a self-insert, right? It ain't coming off like one. Like Shenmue, that's just his bedroom. They said Shenmue Dublin? Really, chat? <laughs> I, I never played Shenmue. I don't. Wait, did they just put up a little. Wait, what? It said St. Claude's just... uh, Reform School? Yeah. It, it might not be a real sign. That that might not be a real reform school, right? He's going to walk 5,000 miles, then he's going to walk 5,000 more. My Shemu is Lidl Yakuza, really. I get into this. This is cool. I dig. I dig it. I dig it. I dig it. Why not put the credits over this? This is a very obvious place to put the credits. Instead, they crammed them all in the beginning in four different fonts for some reason. Yeah. What the hell? Made us just sit there in silence and look at it. It Could have been right here. Yeah. Give give us give us the fucking credits during this. It's very obvious. He's just walking. I'm willing to bet you that when they shot this, that was the intention. But then whenever it got down to, like, the person editing it, they just didn't understand and fucked up and didn't put the... You know what I mean? Like, th- this was intended for to be to be credits. Mm. 
But someone shit the bed or was just too stupid, didn't understand. They forgot. Or they forgot. That sounds like something I'd do. Think so? Nah. Nah, I pretty... used the wrong music track in one of my videos once. Like, I used an unfinished version of the track. You're pretty put together, generally. And how I... much? I, and I, I bet you nobody noticed. Nobody. I bet, yeah. I bet you nobody no The only person who Ryan realized noticed. It, realized it was you and Ryan. Ryan noticed, and then he showed me. No one else. I, like, I bet oh, you God. noticed. No. And it's still like it that, good. right? Yeah. I can't go back and change that. Right. This is happening to me? This is happening to you. To me? I wasn't sure that it was the first two times, but the third time I was convinced. It's just like in the movies. And it's always someone else. Damn it. I... That looked a little too easy, right? Yeah. He was like, how do I get in? They told him, they were like, oh, there's a there's a key under the rock. And he was like, okay. I'm... And then he just used the rock. <laughs> the key is the rock. Yeah. Why? He, he heard, he heard the key is the rock. That's what he heard. What? Why did they record that audio of them opening the, opening the door on a webcam? What the hell? A lot of very bizarrely shot things. Well, this is uh, from 1999. So. Yeah. Um, are you sure a, web, a webcam Wait. good enough would have existed back then? Beautiful ears for a beautiful man. He, he I don't know how to explain it. Um, I'm gonna see if there's like a nice shot of his face so I can. I just, I, I just kind of want to critique his face for a minute, if that's okay. <laughs> okay. Mom found the poop drawer. <laughs> he looks like he's made out of silly putty. The lighting and the camera quality are not doing him any favors. Like, I don't like to be like, I don't want to, you know, call anybody ugly, but he's, he's more clay than human. It's, right? it's he's like the lighting and also the fact that given that he's a martial artist, he probably gets punched in the face a lot. He's, he's a golem. Right. Oh, right, right. The punches aren't, aren't helping. Yeah. Yeah. I just stop. Pause for a minute. Yeah, yeah. He was looking at it like he was about to put the head of this statue in his mouth. Could you go back and like watch again? Please tell me you feel that too. Right? He looks like he's about he was, to stuff he was his gonna, head in his mouth. He was going to pull an Elvis with the microphone. He was, <laughs> oh. Well, it's Rick and Morty. <laughs> Time. It's a Buddha statue, right? He's doing the uh, Rasengan. It's a dusty Buddha. I, I mean, are they going to tell us like what's happening here? Like, like whose house is this? Was, was it impl Am I supposed to know? The dusty Buddha sounds like a tavern name. Absolutely. Like like something in a British colony. The Dusty Buddha. Mm -hmm. How's my mic, by the way? Everything good? Sounds like total shit. Oh, okay. Good. I love it. No, it's fine. Yeah, fuck me. Chop, chop, chop! Ah, oh, they're filming the, uh... Filming an Irish jackass in here. Yeah, me and my friends did shit like that. We used to think it was funny. And you know what? We were right. It was funny. <laughs> Completely in the in the right. This is based. I love this guy's hairline. <laughs> yeah, fuck meat. I'm still I'm still 
I'm still enjoying that comment. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at lampooning movies, and I'm I, sorry. Fred, <laughs> what are you talking about? That was amazing. <laughs> no, that was fucking 10 out of 10 when you said fuck meat. That was perfect. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that was literal perfection. I there was one correct comment to make in that moment, and it was, fuck, yeah, fuck me. <laughs> you know, that's, you gotta sample it before you buy it. I mean, how do you know you want to spend money on it if you don't know what, what it tastes like? <laughs> oh, that water. Oh, these guys are really easily entertained. Wish I could relate. These motherfuckers go home and tickle each other's toes. Oh. Hey, Blondie, how's it going? They, they're the, um, what are the, the, the fucking twins from Always Sunny? What, what, what are they called? The, the weird ones who drink the milk all the time? What, what were they called? The Mc, the McDoyles. Remember the Mc, the McPoyles? They're the McPoyles, yeah. I can't hear them. I... Hey, Blondie, how's it going? Fit the nesting. No. I'm only out to build on that. She's about to convince them oh. to exit their gay relationship. The, the audio is rough at certain It points. is really bad. Holy shit. You're going to have to pay for that. Ooh. Look at this. Look, look, look. Watch, watch. You're very brave to be harassing young women. <gasps> <sighs> Wait, wait, wait! Was his first martial arts move to kick that dude in the nuts? Yeah, yeah, it was. This is our hero. Which you, usually they never do that. Usually, right, that's the low blow. I, that's the cheap I, shot. I feel, I feel like the nut shot is something that happens for comedic effect, like later in the movie. Yeah. This is his completely straight faced way to deal with a cockhead. It's his opening gambit. Be harassing mm -hmm. young women. And you know what's wild? The, the, okay, this is a really good shot right here when he looks at him when he walks up to him right here This is actually this is Kino Fred. You're very brave Kino, right ready this this shot. I love this shot <laughs> Now what I thought was gonna happen was these dickheads were gonna fuck with her paper towel display And she was gonna be all upset about it and then and then you know then he would come and kick their asses in fact He's the one who ruins it She's going to yeah. have to do that all over again, not because of them, but because of our hero. I feel like right. these dudes were going to be obnoxious to her for a minute or two and then leave. And this dude has just yeah. escalated for no and reason. made everything yeah. worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, so far, our hero has broken into what is appar what apparently used to be his house and has gone to a grocery store and escalated a minor disturbance into a physical altercation and ruined some, like, one of the workers' work. No, like, this whole fucking supermarket is going to be in disarray now. There's going to have to be police reports. Somebody might have to fucking call. There's going to might have to be an ambulance coming here. Like, this is now, everybody's day is fucked because of this guy. He and ruined you know every, what? yeah. And you know what? I relate. <laughs> I get it. All right, you know what? Oh, he, sniff he, my didn't act, toes. he didn't actually make yeah. contact. Yeah, sniff my toes. Bye. Fred, you got to stop bringing up toast tonight. <laughs> I'm begging you to stop talking about toast tonight. I'm I'm begging. You got to let stop with the toast, man. Got to. You got to. You just wait. You're There's going to be You're so much me. feet in There's going to be so much feet in this movie. Feet Nudsen. She's wet. Nice transition. I love what I'm looking at right now. I love being fucking completely blinded and having no idea what I'm looking at. It's rules. Yeah, do, do you have the flashbang? I'm not paying you. Uh, flashbang BTTV. Here, here. To the ridge. This is like the exact same movie that we watched last night. I'm having like crazy deja vu. <laughs> this is this is this is Cappuccino right here. This is him. This is the Irish Cappuccino. 
It's a power move to point a gun at someone and then, and then give hand it to, it them. to them. Hong, Hong, to right. The Loving the criminal hideout here, the criminal lair. Mm. Fucking trap. We're gonna use those stakes to kill a very big vampire. <laughs> Massive vampire. Fuck that half of the barrel. It's a big problem in Ireland, dude. Got those uh, those Attack on Titan vampires. I want you to listen to the music real quick, because it's pretty confusing. I. The tonal I get shift. the feeling that musical incongruity is going to be a heavy feature a, a, a of this theme movie. Here, yeah. This sounds like it's about to become a sitcom about an Irish criminal gang. Where did what are these sets? Like where did they find all this shit? What It's like it was exclusively filmed around uh, abandoned buildings and a supermarket. I mean, that's they must have rented the supermarket for a minute, right? Frog Balls Ireland. D did you hear the music abruptly stop when he kicked the door in? Yes. <laughs> the music was being played by like a small band of mice in this room and when he kicked the door <laughs> in they scattered <laughs> I'm sure my dignity is around in here somewhere no not here no not here in here nope that's just the piss drawer In here? It'd be nice to know what the fuck is happening at any given moment, huh? I feel like I haven't been given any impetus to care. Yeah. About anything right now. Yeah, this is gonna be fucking rough, guys. I have a feeling this is gonna be fucking brutal. Ah, uh, this is what I used to watch all my porn tapes on. So no, so he... mad about the dust. Was not able to find his dignity in here. Quite the opposite, actually. It's, uh, <gasps> oh, his old, like his gi or whatever it is. Yeah. He's remembering, remembering what it was like before he was sculpted from the mud of the earth. Like a, <laughs> like a fucking orc from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> When he was just a simple c conglomeration of sediment. <laughs> Didn't have to care about anything. He remembers Sandy Loam. He remembers <laughs> the Loam. You. The Loam. Was he the one being bullied or doing the bullying? Probably being I bullied. Think, I don't know. Based on his conduct in the grocery store, I'm going to assume he's the bully. Yeah. Son, the way you threw that other kid was fantastic. Keep he, it up. Did he smack him? I don't I think, think so. He smacked him. Oh, this is fucking brutal. Look at this. Now, kick it in the nuts. Son, I'm about to teach you the most important move you'll ever learn in your martial arts career. Kick this sandbag square in the testicles. <laughs> this can get you out of any situation. In fact, you should open with this. I want you to imagine that this sandbag is a man who just dropped an egg on the ground in a grocery store. <laughs> hey, Rad, thanks for checking out my channel tonight. You may laugh, but James Bennett is a national treasure. Th that's who this guy is? That's the, the dad? Or is this James Bennett? Who's James Bennett? It's our main character, our ball kicker. I tried to withdraw some money, but it told me to feed it a stray kitten. Oh God, I hope there's no trouble. What you mean? Why don't you know about his father? 
Ooh, car. I'm about to flash this ATM with my tits. How often you think that happens? You think you think that women do that a lot? What gonna show the money, the goods? No, there's a little camera in the ATM, right? <laughs> Wait, how do you think those cameras work? Do you think that there's like an F a tiny FBI agent inside of the ATM watching? I think they regularly review the footage. There's a little guy. Do yeah, they? there's a little guy in there. There's a little guy in there. Right? A tiny agent. I think they they occasionally probably review the footage. I, I think when there's an incident, they review yeah. the footage. There, there's a tiny martial artist inside of every ATM, and if you steal money, they jump out and kick you in the nuts. In uh, in Ireland, it's a leprechaun. In Ireland. Um. Yeah, just kind of like flash it. Flash the ATM camera. Fuck it. Like, be ungovernable. So, so chaos in the world. Da -dum. Da -dum. You, 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 you're seeing it like Jaws, right? You're saying it? <laughs> yeah. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. <laughs> Just keep walking. From Mikey. He hopes he's going to see us tonight. I can't. I've got other plans. What could be more important than Mikey? Can you record it? What? Now look. What could be more important than Mikey? And then she said, what? Kippy, thanks for the bits. I don't think, I don't think she can understand the dialogue either. What could be more important than Mikey? I want to fight Junkie Joy, Junkie Joy Joyce. Can you record it? I can't understand her. I, I fucking, I'm giving up. Look. You're going to make us look bad for the mic. You know what women love when dudes bring them flowers, but not the dude who wants to give her the flowers. Some random jerk off that he smokes weed with will bring you the flowers instead on his behalf. Women love that shit, right? When when a it dude shows... <laughs> when a dude sends a lackey to bring you to bring her the flowers. You oh know, my what? God. it shows her, it demonstrates his ability to delegate tasks, right? Which women so love. Whoever, women love that. Yeah. Yeah. It, right. it, it shows you are the master. Women also love it when they get absolutely atrocious haircuts. What the fuck happened? Oh, man. I don't think that was a haircut. I think her hair got caught in like a pasta machine or something. Like her hair got what caught in some kind of some some kind of machine. Is suck, it, is sucked it, her hair in, and they had to just salvage it. Me? Is it just me, or like did they miss a lock? Bro, the whole fucking the hairline is fucked. Yeah, they missed the lock, but that's like the least of their problems here. Like th there are so bad. many bad hairlines in this movie. Yeah. It matters, would you? We gotta do our job. Well. Don't be lucky for someone else. Now look here. Let's just hold on. Love that shot. Wait. <laughs> Dave, I'm, we're gonna we're gonna roll that again. Don't be lucky for someone else. Now look here. Th this this is the shot. This is this is your shot. Is that Merlin? I, I I'm seeing leaves. Let's just hold on a minute. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I don't think the girl needs help across the road. Why don't you boy scouts go and play in the woods? You little. <laughs> Who's that? Um, there's a there's a wizard now. What do you mean there's a what do you mean there's a wizard? Why is there a wizard? There's a there's a there there's a wizard. He's the wizard of ball kicking. Sitting there. I just see a little sit down, you prick. It's a uh that's the Irish Uncle Iroh, Chatter said. She's going to jill off to his honky ass. Jill off. Thanks, I it's okay. I know what it's like to be bullied. 
And that's it. <laughs> that's it. She's like, yeah, I'm not having a hard time believing that. He never appears in her life again, and then the aggression just increases because, like, this man is inserting himself into every situation and escalating it. Yeah. Like, again, like, what would have happened there? I mean, I don't know. What They did grab her arm. Like, I don't know. I maybe like, that's well, fucked up. You know, maybe well, you shouldn't be touching like, her. There, there is more to this situation, obviously. And th this... Will walking up and beating up some of these dudes fix the problem? I no. think maybe it, it gets them to, you know, leave her alone for a minute, but th there is clearly some sort of pre-existing relationship between all these people. Yeah, right? he, they say Mikey as if she knows who he is. This hasn't right. solved the problem. It's just escalated it. Ironically, the only way to solve it is to escalate it even further and kill these people. Right. The only way out at this point is further escalation. He, he if anything, he's made her life harder because now they're going to be angry that that happened. Like now they're going to come back. Mm -hmm. They're going to, you know, with more flowers, bigger flowers. See, I like you the know? idea that he just randomly flies off the handle and it just so happens that he's beating up dickheads. Right, like he's just gotten lucky so far I mean, from one, what we've seen. One day it's going to be some old lady, you know, it's some innocent old woman who's going to catch a beating from this guy. Yeah, exactly. It's it completely random. He's got a bag full of cum? Oh, it's eggs. I guess that makes more sense. There's a lot of egg abuse in Look this movie. His face, dude. There is a lot of egg abuse. It's poor eggs. Man, I, I, I just want to see his his face again because it's his face is upsetting. I have I've never been that angry over a, like an egg being broken. I have. You have? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I get angry. I'm I'm. I get angry easily, Fred. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. See, like, this yeah. looks like the kind of anger that... Like, this is the kind of anger that leads you to setting up booby traps in someone's house. Uh, in someone's house. Like, like he, is, he is about to unleash pain on someone for breaking his eggs. Was that spoilers? Setting up booby traps in someone's house? I don't fucking know. He might have spoiled it. Maybe, maybe it's going to be like reverse Home Alone. Yeah. Where he's like setting up a bunch of traps for the person who lives in the house. Someone else is home alone. There's the gong in case you forgot that this was a, I guess, a kung fu movie. And, uh, okay. Okay. anyway... Okay. What happened to you? Guess who's back in town? The boys? Young Jimmy Bennett, after 10 years. Thanks for being here, Dragoon. He did look constipated. Young Jimmy Bennett, it's been 10 years. Now he's old Jimmy Bennett. A middle-aged Jimmy Bennett. Hmm. Why don't we get him to work for us? Working for us? Why not? Wouldn't it be ironic yeah, to have the son of the man I killed working for us? I don't know. Why are you asking me, dude? Have him stop by and visit me tonight. Wouldn't that be sweet? I'm just trying to watch the movie. I don't fucking know. I don't know what you're talking about. He's red. Man, what an awkward shot. Did you see how long that we were looking at that ashtray? This guy is red. Yeah. He's red. By and visit me tonight. Wouldn't that be sweet? To yep. be fair, that man <laughs> also looks like an ashtray. Like see, that... it's, it's the barely distinguishable, his face in this ashtray. It's like the same yeah. con continuation of the shot. Yeah, this is a mistake. They, they thought that it was still on his face he, in we, the editing bay. Like about... about 
20 seconds ago, we watched that guy light that cigarette. He then, in one pull, in completely sucked it all the way down to the filter and then put it out. Power move. Got a continuity error here. It's like, it's like they wanted an intense scene but didn't want to bother filming it. <laughs> right? We're going to imply that it's tense. Yeah. <laughs> you like his shirt? And how stupid it is. You think you could do that? I could do that. I could do that if I didn't care about my own well-being. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm going to end up in the hospital if I do it, but I could do it. Yeah. I'm pretty flexible. I, be, I'm, I would surprise a lot of you. I'm more flexible than I think a lot of you imagine. Just ask your, your mothers. Why did you hesitate? Because I felt bad for, for a second somehow. I felt like, you know, my, in my what, brain. That's I was like, your line? I was like, maybe somebody's mom is watching this at this moment. That's I, the line. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like I maybe. I, I said it earlier and then I was like, you know what, man? I don't know. Maybe people's moms watch this. People keep telling me they're showing this shit to their parents. And everything. I'm starting to feel like maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. I'm starting to feel bad for fucking maybe maybe people here, you know, are watching this with their moms right now. You know, and maybe they don't appreciate that. Mike, right? I, that that's like what? That that's like you eating sawdust and like a ton of things that aren't edible, right? You're like eating a shoe. You're eating like a hat. Like, you're eating just random, inedible stuff, and then someone puts caviar down in front of you, and you're like, ew, fish eggs. That's like you being like, oh, I don't know about your mom jokes. That's a step too far. That's a little too much. We're, we do a lot of them. Maybe maybe that could do with, like, slightly Yucky. less your mom jokes, you know? You snails. Yucky. They're slimy. I wouldn't turn down snails. I would eat snails, for the record. I know that's not your point, but... I could do that. Could you do that? You don't think you could this do that? This dude is just presenting to the fireplace. Chatter said, Mike is woke, unfortunately. Shut up. <laughs> like someone, someone knocks at the door. Wait, I can't get up. I can't hold up. Fuck. Takes him like a full minute to just... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> recover from that you know yeah he's like reassemble wait. his body hold on hi hi um i just called by to say thank you well uh, this is shot like a porno I mean, i'm sorry the place is still a bit of a it really is mess. how did she know who he was well i mean he's back in town right this uh, the town has like 10 people in it right that's the idea everybody knows each other everybody knows everybody mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. Yeah, this is for you. Thanks. I it's a cream like pie. Um. Sorry, lass. There's too many carbohydrates. And he just throws <laughs> it, throws it in the trash in front of her. <laughs> Look, I've, I've got to go. Wait, uh, can I see you again? Why is it so flat? It's not a fucking pie. It's not even a pie. It's just like a large cookie. I brought you a disc of wood. She bought that shit. She didn't buy that. She didn't make that. I made it in the sense that I made money and then used that money yeah. to buy it. <laughs> Do you think that that was like a Chekhov's pie? Or do you think we'll never see it again? Like, is that was that pie introduced for a reason? There was a very clear establishing shot of the pie. No, you know what he's going to do? Like, eventually, at the end of the movie, he's going to throw the pie into someone's nutsack. Yeah, something like that, right? Chekhov's pie. Jerkhov's pie. Wants to see you. How the where the fuck did they come from? I'm telling you, this is a gay porn. Who, Mr. Lockler? 
<laughs> Why the gong? So you don't forget it's a martial arts film. I baked you a pie. I hear you're good with your hands. Why is he standing like that? It's still a gay porn. Why is he standing like a frog man? He looks like he a fucking. Stanced... He looks like a fucking battle toad. What He's the fuck is he looking up. like that? He is stanced up. He looks like. He looks like he doesn't know what to do with his hands. Yeah. Or he's carrying imaginary garbage bags or some shit. Right. I have had to carry the groceries in so many times that I am stuck he's in this stuck pose. He's stuck like that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, d d d d this is a gay porn. Yeah, yeah we ended up watching another twink. fucking Cat Catalina video tonight. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, look at look at the way he's looking at him. Do you like manual work? He's sizing uh, him up like why? a piece of meat. Uh. Why does this guy keep speaking directly to me? Why was there a shot of an ashtray? No, I don't like manual work. Yeah. Do you like manual work? Well, do you? Do you, Fred? Do you, chat? Work. Do you like manual work? It's okay. I have an opening. Vomiting panda. The lads have a nice conversation. For someone with your talent. This man is... Would you like to... What? He's, that that twink is staring at him like, like he's like he's a hunk of meat. Yeah. Work for me. I don't know. Didn't Ugh. He... He's yeah. He's fucking thirsty. See all those fancy mm -hmm. cars outside. Fancy cars. It's a well-paid job. Why does he have a virus necktie? Take it I don't know, but why does he keep looking at me and addressing me? And get back to me. What is asking... this shit? What are these shots? Stop it! I'm feeling very aware of myself right now, and I don't like it. No, Mike, I'm baking right now. That tie is a gay virus necktie. He Let was trying to warn the world that they were going to unleash the gay virus. You know about this down here? Yeah, yeah, back up to the shot before this. Total the shot of... Total global yeah, saturation? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, the shot, the, yeah, ashtray man. That's a very bizarre tie, I agree with you. That's a very strange tie. What is it supposed to be? It looks like the know. logo of a shitty tech startup. I don't know, I see it, I see it. Uh, are you, you were saying they look like, like a, a coronavirus. They do. You're, they you're do, right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Outside. It's a well-paid job. It's very disturbing. Just imagine it's Cardi B yelling at him. Me. Coronavirus! Shit's getting real! Is that what she said? What, I don't know. What is that quote? Oh my god. I'll, I'll have to find it at some point for you. Mmm, brisk. <laughs> it's nice to know you're so concerned about Nicola, but stay away from her, okay? She's in safe hands with me. Very, very well delivered line. Great, great delivery there. This man's only line to our main character is trying to convince him that he's straight. Yeah, so far. Stay away from the girl. She's mine because I have lots of straight heterosexual penis in vagina sex. Yeah, that's right. You better believe lots it. Lots of it. You better Many believe sex. it. sex. I don't want him walking for us. Relax, Mikey. If he goes near her again, I'll kill him. Mikey. Because I'm very straight, Dad. <laughs> Mikey, I know you're straight. I know. I know, Mikey. It's okay. It's okay, Mikey. Yes, we all know how straight you are. It's all right. It's a dangerous job, and accidents happen all the time. What? Called him a crafty old bastard. Uh, I, I mean, I, I heard it. Oh, you did, okay. Say that again, I can't hear your tiny, wee, gay little voice. <laughs> I mean straight, straight little voice, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> 
the fun fair. Gee whiz, what do you think goes on there? Think. Wow. The fun fair has one ride and is actually depressing as fuck. I don't think it was named very aptly. Those people did not consent to being filmed. No. Have you heard the term from Red Letter Media? Uh, what, what was it? It's uh, shooting the rodeo? No. It's where you take footage of a big public event and then use it as B-roll and set mm. your movie at that event, yeah. even though it's you weren't actually filming it there. You were just yeah. filming it for B-roll. Which is why what we're about to watch is going to look like complete shit and be very confusing. Because they're mm. not going to actually be here. Right. Or they're going to be like in a corner and no actual people are yeah, there. Yeah, this is shooting the rodeo, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah pads the runtime specifically. Enjoy the fun of the fair. The fun fair. I get it. You see that? Uh, you see, wow. Because the fair is enjoyable. It's super literal. This idea of the fun fair, right? It's... Look how it's it's very ironic actually because look how pitiful this this entire shot is. You think they rented this just for the movie? I, I don't know. I I think they, they probably had a fun fair. It's so generic. It's fun because we told you it's fun. Why aren't you having fun? Have fun right now! Yeah, that this guy, no kid way. is so wet. No way did he consent to being filmed. The Ministry of Sound. Why is that familiar to me? The Ministry of Sound. This is Ryan's culture. Ryan? The British Isles. This yeah, is Ireland. Ryan was too. the one who showed it to me. This is Ireland. He'll fucking rip yeah, your cock off. Yeah, I know, cotton. but it's, it's, it's like... He'll rip your cock off if he hears you say that. They don't like that shit. It's the same, like, cluster of islands. Oh, man. You're just made... You made so many people so mad just now. I accept this. The fun fair. Let's get whiplash at the fun fair. Bumper cars are so stupid. It's like a game with no objective except to just ram as hard as you can into somebody else. Like at least like, you know, go-karts, you, you, you have it, you got a race, you know, you're racing around. This you're just ramming into each other as hard as possible. I mean, like, is that fun? Dad, I'm going to go onto the bumper cars and ram all the men. I'm very straight, though. I my key off this again. <laughs> That's the main character right there. That's him. Right? Mm -hmm. He's a middle-aged man on gold carts by himself at the fun fair. By himself. He's alone. He's not with a date, he's not with his nephew or something, he's totally alone. Chad is a Chad. <laughs> I like the idea that he gets in here and just starts, like, hitting all of the children as hard as he can. <laughs> right! Time to grow up! <laughs> Welcome to the real world! <laughs> It's okay, Whiplash doesn't hurt children as much. <laughs> why does finds it, the switch. Hmm? Why, why, why does it feel like uh, I'm... Somebody slipped me some LSD or something right now? Let's get it. Oh my god, Mike. I, I, Fred, did you, I need did, to tell did, you this. Did you, did you drug me, bro? What is, what's going on? Yes. Did you, did, you, did you slip me a Quaalude, bro? Dude. It is... I need you to know what it's like to be on peyote. I mean, it's. it's <laughs> I mean, I guess you you already already do know, right? You know, I've Banana never shirt. believe it or not, I've never done peyote. Never got around Banana. to it, Mike. Okay, never got I, around I need to, to it. I to tell you this. 
I discovered something. You know Aldous Huxley, right? The author, uh, you yeah, probably Brave don't New recognize World. the name. Yeah, he, he's yeah. the author of Brave New World. Exactly. Yeah. I don't um, recognize I decided, the name. See how uneducated he thinks I am? I feel See like people shit? know George Orwell, but they, when they hear the name Aldous Huxley, it's like, hmm, sounds like a dumb writer. We were talking about this recently, and chat was making fun of the way I pronounce it. I said Al Aldous, I said Aldous, and they were like, you pronounce it like an asshole. Alduis Dumbledore. And I'm like, it's it's a fucking it's a bullshit name. Who cares how I pronounce it, okay? Anyway, why are you bringing it's this up? It's a bullshit name. Why are you bringing that? You're bringing it up because Soma? Every Aldous, every Aldous in chat molding right there now. Is, there, isn't no, a, it's because, there isn't a single one. That's the thing. It's not because of Soma, actually. Um, I went... No Aldous I, I was picking another book to read, right? I need another book to read. And so I went to my bookshelf... And I, I was looking at stuff that I had but hadn't gotten around to reading yet. Fred, why, and why I, do you read? Why, why are you reading? What are you doing this for? What do you mean you're looking for a book to read? This is why Because it makes me sex. better than you. This now let me continue. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, look at me. I'm reading a book. Hmm, aren't I fancy? Yes. Go ahead. Sorry. I'm, I'm choosing the easy way to be better than you. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. So what? What do you? What you find? What you? What you find? No. Um. I. I. I went. I was. I. Um. I found. I. I went and looked at books that I hadn't hadn't read yet, and I found a book called The Doors of Perception. Yeah. By that, Aldous Huxley. Yeah. That's that's um, what the fucking the doors were named after the the band. Oh really? Yeah. They read the. I oh, guess what was his fucking name? What was the the guy who died? Uh, Duh! uh Well, the the quote is from William Blake. If the doors of perception were cleansed, everything would appear to man as it is, infinite. Um, make, that makes no sense. Aldous Huxley... It makes no sense. I, 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 I think it's kind of... Eh. But I pick up this book and I'm like, huh, what is this? That's kind of an interesting name. All right, it's Aldous Huxley. Okay, I'll read more from him. I read... I learn this book is entirely about Aldous Huxley's experience high off his balls on peyote. It was peyote? He just got high. It was peyote? Yeah, I didn't know he what drug it high. was, but I knew, I knew this was the case. I just didn't know what he was on. It was on peyote. It was, uh, it was... Um, Peyote's a cactus that, that has some kind of hallucinogenic right. well, it, properties. It's, uh, it, it's the chemical from peyote. He took it as a, as a pill. You could just eat the cactus. Like, you just break off Yeah, you can just... A uh, mescaline. Mescaline is the... He, he took mescaline Guys, that's pills, what I was... To that's what I took that day in the book. bathtub. That's what I was on that day in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. Banana shirt. Banana shirt. Banana shirt. Banana shirt. Banana shirt. How's Pump doing? Pump is uh, very, very dead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So Jim Morrison read the book, I guess, liked it, and you know it was the '60s, and they were all fuck God, you know. Okay. It was the '60s, and they named their band after that. After that book, that's what. That's what. That's why it's okay. called The Doors. Yeah. Interesting. I didn't realize. Yeah, because they were huh. you know a bunch of fucking degenerates. There you go. Okay, that's pretty cool. You, you ever listen? I'm, to I'm gonna band? read it. I'm gonna read it and let you know how it is. I heard it's got like uh like the house of leaves type vibes like that kind of like it doesn't Ooh. well i mean I'm that i i don't i don't know anything about house of leaves kind but... of gets the okay uh, house of leaves is a very specific experience yeah it's i don't know if it's that mike makes the bunny ears look cool thank you thank you more people should be saying that why like I... putting his hands right up to his chest and sticking his ass out and hopping around. I would never do that. Uh huh. I would never do that because I'm not. I'm not a confident enough hopper, frankly. Before he hangs up on me, I need you all to know: in between games of Hell Divers, he does exactly that. I did it one time. <laughs> one time. Do lap in bio. Uh, Foss, thanks for the, the support on Kofi. Thank you. No, you know what this, this, this is effect deranged. is him? This effect is him having like frontal lobe damage after getting hit from behind in one of these. 
Or no, he gets flung back, he hits his head on the back of it, and, like, it damages his occipital lobe. That was so disorienting and upsetting, that sequence. What is happening? Is he having, like, flashbacks while, like, he hit his head on these bumper cars, and now he's remembering his training? Fred, what if he wasn't even at the fun fair? What if the fun fair thing was just a complete non sequitur? Yeah, what was that? Creaky fucking door, man. Fucking Vincent Price type shit, dude. Son, why do you jerk off like this? Very elaborate um, jerking session. Very, very specific, very particular kind of kind of an experience. <coughs> he turned into a cat. Irish, you know what? it the wasn't terrible and his son it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't the guy who who was killed it was the sword the cat tana it comes to light when it when it draws blood it is awakened and it cries out to the moon yeah yeah what do you mean minus 2 fuck you the fun fair and the katana murder were both did, didn't happen none of it happened fred none of it happened you think this is just the first 20 minutes of this movie are all a dream? All of that was just in his head. It was just a, a fucking fever dream acid trip. Now it's about a runner. I love being able to see. Who smeared algae on the film? You know what? I'm going to be straight up. This still looks better than Morbius. Yeah. God, Morbius was an I, ugly I, movie. I can actually fucking at least... Like, I, could, I could tell there was a man running past me on the beach. Okay, like, that's way, way more information than I got from, like, 20% of the, of the movie Morbius. I can't figure out if the bat bending was the best or worst part of that movie. Well, the bat bending is the part I'm talking about where for, like, a straight, yeah. 20, a straight 20 minutes, I couldn't tell what was happening on the screen at all. All. Yeah. At all. That's what he was doing. He was bat bending. <laughs> yeah, fuck air. This is, he's not really fight. This more looks like some kind of Ma Michael Jackson dance choreography. Look. Chimone! He did a chamone. He's just making this up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 why did he just walk like a stork? What it's, was that? It's not, it, it's a Fortnite dance. It's not a fuck, it's not. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> if this becomes a TikTok dance trend. It should. Please. At Chatters, submit videos of yourself doing this. Yeah, I'm not feeling threatened by that. I'm not feeling scared by that. I'm not feeling intimidated by this. No, th this is... No, w watch. Like, some some very specific YouTuber so... is going to ask his underage fans to submit videos of themselves doing this. Fred, you're derfing. You're der <laughs> you're, you're, you're derfing, bro. Is that the same rock that he used to smash the lock? Wait, I... I use this, like, template. Or no, th this kind of paper. That's not, you know, it's just... It just looks like that. It's like a parchment. It's like meant to look like a parchment, right? Yeah. He's reenacting, uh... I don't know, Martin Luther or something? What? what? Okay. Beal Uh-oh. 
Hold on. Party. I want you to take care of this Wilson problem. Okay. Yeah, boss. Okay. Yeah, boss. Yeah, What's with the now, farty bass? Next order of business. Very brappy bass. The tournament is coming up. I want everyone. This guy has not moved the entire time. I want to make sure that Seagull wins it. Hold on a minute. Will Seagull be back in time from Hong Kong? Of course he will. Why is this tournament so important to us? Because, stupid, it makes us look good. The tournament is very important to people around here. We win this, we take control of this town. Thanks for the also, exposition. I'm... Except here's the also, problem. Also, I want to see all the hot, sweaty men. I'm straight, though. Th this was one of those instances where the more I learned about something that was happening in this movie, the less sense it made. Right? Like, this yeah. was exhibi exhibition dialogue that's supposed to tell you, like, what's going on. But now I'm just, like, so much more confused. Are there any other contenders? It's your job to make sure that does not happen. What's but the... then if there's no competition, then nobody gives a shit what about it. What Even competition. It... No, this doesn't... No, this, this categorically does not make sense. Because if you get rid of all the competition, then there's no competition, nobody cares about the event, and the whole point of it is moot. You need pe Oh my fucking god. Oh, this is brutal, dude. What's the reverse of exhibition dialogue? Like... Uh, exposition? Expository e dialogue? Like non-sposition? What, 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 what's the opposite of it? Uh, Imposition. It imposes on you. Imposition. Suppository dialogue. <laughs> Answer it! Hello? Oh, hi. How come I haven't seen you lately? I, um, I've been really busy at work. I've been trying out this new invisibility potion. I told Is you that a fishbowl? Wait a minute. That's not a fishbowl. They didn't buy a fishbowl. They got a glass, like, a, a glass jar and then put a plate on it and Fred. called it a fishbowl. Fred, it, why are you, that, that's, that's, it's yellow, dude. And? If there's if there's fish in there, they're super dead. There's a fish in there, I swear to God. There is Look. something moving in the in they it's a fucking urine fish, bro. It's a fake fish bowl. Hi. How come I haven't seen you lately? I am um... yeah, there is something getting, moving in there. <laughs> I've been getting high off of fish, Jenkum. <laughs> Be getting high off of fish, Jenkum, and bed rotting. I'm really busy at work. I told you, give up that job. I'll give you everything you need. He's just telling her to quit her job. Because she does, he, he doesn't see her enough. Look, live with me. No. Why not? I'm not ready for that. Because you keep having gay sex. I need more time. Okay, but don't leave it too long. I've got to go now. Bye. I need to eat this fish. This is, it's so weird. Right? It's so bizarre. Oh, oh, here we go. The, the, that dude, I figured out who he reminds me of. Hold on. Um. I'm, I'm telling you, that, that forest shot, I know what it reminds me of. This. That, and, and that dude looks like one of these dudes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. 
context, uh, th that guy just survived a plane crash. Like, minutes prior to oh, this. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so much funnier with context. It... <laughs> I've never had context for this clip. It gets so, wait. Now. This is... This is, like... Wait a minute. Is the game The Forest inspired by this? They're telling me it's a different movie. Guys, this is the same fucking movie, guys. Incorrect plot. Are you being actually about porn movie plots are there nerds about porn movie plots fred yeah the fucking okay so here's the here's the concept of this porno okay there's a a gay plane trip i don't even know what the fuck it is so the, the idea is they're gonna get a bunch of gay guys on a plane together and they're gonna have gay sex on the plane okay a including the pilots are gay and now because everybody Wait, yes. because everybody is sucking each other's cock, the plane crashes. Oh no, and I'm and not they, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay, don't be, they like blame each other because like everyone is so gay? Like yeah, you you made There's like, an you, actual line of dialogue where one of the one of them says to the other one, if you were weren't too busy getting fucked in the ass, then this plane crash wouldn't have happened. Okay, God, so I they, love that. So the plane okay. The plane crashes, and then it crashes in, like, I don't know, remote Georgia or something? And they're in, like, a survival situation, and rednecks are trying to eat them. And the implication is, like, the, the South is such a savage place that there wouldn't be, you know, emergency vehicles showing up, like, the second thing. Like, if, if a plane crash happened in Georgia... There'd be, you know, there'd be fucking ambulances and shit, right? You wouldn't be fucking, I mean, you know, running around dodging cannibal rednecks in the middle of the woods, right? I mean, ideally? This sounds like Lovecraft's idea of, like, rural Alabamans. Yes, you, you understand exactly. It's exactly like that. It's that kind of whole, that, that whole kind of, uh... Like, I don't really, you know, uh, they're all inbred. Those people are right. all inbred. I don't know them right, personally, like, so they're, they're, they're literally demonic. Gay, gay porno director reads the Dunwich Horror and then starts directing porn. We'll call it the Cumwich Horror. There you go. Um, I'm being told that it's two separate pornos they're saying that this scene is not from what i just described to you however it might as well have been because the scene okay. that the, the, what i just described to you is legitimately what happens in one of them just not this one okay well that's disappointing part of the thing that confuses me is that it's all the same actors ah uh, yeah Fred, I would love a Catalina cinema cinematic universe. There, I mean, that exists. That's what we do when we watch those, when we do Fuck those streams. Yeah. The plane crashed because everybody was too gay. I want you to think about that for a minute. The plane crashed because everyone was too gay. And even the co-pilot was confused. He was like, so you're the one responsible for all the hot cocks on this plane. And then the, and then the plane crashed. Isn't this actually what pastors try to tell people? Like, the reason there are plane crashes yeah. and, like, anomalous weather events is because there are gay people. Because gay people exist, yeah. Yeah. Except, yeah. I, I like how in both pastor, like, past, yeah. pastors, tr like, speaking to their flock and gay porno, the moral is the same. Fred, that's what they call the horseshoe theory. Ah. Right. You ever hear the Disprove horseshoe theory? Disprove it. Yeah, yeah, that, that like, horseshoe the opposite the sides of the spectrum are actually practically close to one another. Horseshoe theory in action, bro. Right there. Perfect demonstration. And the horseshoe is hanging off of a gay man's gigantic boner. No, <sighs> even better. The horseshoe is being used to parachute. It's the weight. I just, I just figured out what you meant by that. It's the okay. weight for the parachute. All right. All right. 
All right. Let's uh let's keep let's keep chugging along here, shall we? Let's go. Bagpipey. Yeah. Do you think that those are diegetic bagpipes or they just didn't turn it up enough? Fuck is a di a diegetic you know, we've had diegetic this exact conversation means that, before. We've had this exact yeah. conversation yeah. before. Is it diegetic the, sound is anything that is coming that is meant to meant to be coming from the scene. So if you're in a club in a movie and there's music pumping, you can assume that the music is like actually like the characters are experiencing that music as well. Right. So I'm wondering, are the characters hearing that bagpipe or is that just soundtrack? In this movie, it would be pretty much impossible to tell the difference. Like in, yeah. in this movie, you would you would just wouldn't be able to fucking tell at all. Actually. I like the idea that there's just some random cockhead distant in the hills playing bagpipe. Yeah. I mean, it's Ireland. The, the odds that that's what's happening are significant, actually. Well, Scotland is the place that's obsessed with the bagpipes, right? Like, it's it's, it's less of a thing in Ireland, right? Mm. Why is he dressed like a five-year-old? Whoa! Hold up! Old! Dude, that guy fucking materialized back there. Fred, I hate bringing it up, but isn't that the shirt that... We were thinking the exact same thing, weren't yeah, we? Yeah. Yeah. We were thinking the exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah. Know, and you know. And you know what? It. And you know what? Chat was thinking it too. Yeah. So let's just move on. Let's not get into it. Like, I don't want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's just. Yeah. Yeah. So this is where Major Clue lives. <laughs> yeah. Look, the search. <laughs> Fatal deviation. The search for Sonichu. <laughs> <laughs> they're not wizards, they're monks. Well, that's like the same thing, right? Yeah, they're <laughs> God basically wizards. the same shit. Wizard jump scare. Who are you, people? The is, who are He's pondering her orbs. It's like, who are you? Are it's you like, who the fuck are you? You're the ones on our property. <laughs> Uh, can I fucking help you with something? The question is, who are you? What are you talking about? I know my past. <laughs> why, why, why are they? Why did they have a shot of a dude just whacking the dirt with a hoe? He's jilling off over there, man. He's, he's jilling off. Come on, Nicholas, we're leaving. This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. What gave it away? <laughs> What? That was the scene. Wait, why were they in the woods? What? What? We must have missed some dialogue about why they went out there. No, horse shit. If they, if they wanted us to pay attention to the dialogue, it would... I could hear it. I would be able to hear it. We have no idea why they went there. No, they, they, they hadn't even talked... What? This is one of those movies where the scenes just kind of happen. You know, like, there's no cause and effect here. It's just kind of, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. They're just, the scenes are just presented to you. And either you follow it or you don't. They don't really care. This isn't Journey to the Mind's Eye. This is a movie. Journey to the Mind's Eye, Fred? Yeah. Wait, it's what? not a collection. It's not a short film collection. Gongo. Guys, what is Gongo? Gongo. <laughs> Gongo. Gongo is Gongo. He doesn't know. He doesn't. Are you going to fucking tell him? Or are you just going to spam Gongo? Like, 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 a, like a bunch of great, chimps. Uh, the the uh, Great Sphinx is uh, the greatest Gongo streamer on Twitch. Okay, I've heard of Great Sphinx. Is anybody yeah, going to Great Sphinx is he's the number one Gongo streamer. Right. Is anyone going to tell me what Gongo is? Or again, are you just going to keep fucking spamming Gongo like uh 
a bunch of fucking insane people. Gunga gingangango. Gongo is a 2D side-scrolling platformer where the player goes through levels killing enemies and saving the princess. It's great. It's it's a it's a copy pasta. It's great. It's it's a meme and he calls all of his streams Gongo. This came from his brain, or is it? So Gongo doesn't exist. It's just a funny word. Is that what it? It's a real game, and he streams it. Gongo. It's not a game, Fred. Yeah, it is. Look it up. Gongo. Gongo, fuck yourself. Yeah, that's where I'm at. You guys are just not giving me the fucking answer. Yeah, how about Gong Go Fuck Yourself, guys? It's a real game. It has a category on Twitch. How about that, guys? Gong Go. How about that? What do you think of that? He's one of Vinny's... Guys, I know who Great Sphinx is. He made one of our music videos. I, I think he yeah, made, it, like... It's Great, Sphinx, it's Great Sphinx's stream. He made, like, two he streams of... Gongo. Two of our music videos. It's like, I actually didn't know that. That's cool. Just continuing to repeat the word gongo like I'm going to understand what the fuck it is. Don't worry about it. Fred, I'm I'm a you don't you know what it is? Yeah. It's a game. It's not a Grace game. This is very good at it. Yes, it is. Look it up. Look it up. It's real. Sorry, no entry. What's the problem? I just want to have a drink. Sorry, you little butter. Said no entry. I haven't done anything wrong, right? Listen, I don't think you heard me right. You're not getting in, and that's that. I haven't done anything wrong. That's not what you say when you someone it. isn't letting you, you in. Minute, right? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What? What was what? the the flashback? Was him remembering? If these are the dudes that he beat up before, I guess, and he's beating them up again. He forgot who they were. Come on, Nicholas, we're leaving. This guy's crazy. This motherfucker is the definition of escalation. So he walks up to these dudes. He's like, gonna go in there, I guess? He wants to go in there? Sorry, no entry. What's the problem? I just want to have a drink. Sorry, you little bollocks. I said no entry. Sorry, you little bollocks. I said no I entry. I haven't done wrong, right? Listen, I don't think you heard me right. You're not getting in, and that's that. And now as he walks away, he appears to remember something. Now look here, this whole lot of fucking minutes, right? Wait, but that's the dude. So that was happening immediately outside. None of these people in here cared. By the way, I want you to check out the monks drinking in here. Well, yeah, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, they're just monks in there. Why were they guarding the door? The place is clearly just open. Please See, he was told me he beats that dude. He he was thinking about it. He wanted to escalate again. Mm -hmm. It had been a while since he escalated. It had been about 30 seconds since he escalated. He was like, shit, I'm looking for an another excuse to escalate. Guys, that flashback <laughs> thing made no sense because those weren't even in, even the same people. They weren't, were they? No, they weren't. Wasn't even the same guys. He beat the shit out of those guys because they maybe slightly reminded him of the other guys. I really like the idea that this man is not experiencing reality as we experience no. it. Like, like <laughs> this is this is a mood, movie adaptation of a, of a Philip K. Dick novel. He's going, he's going through life at his own pace. He's going through life. He doesn't see the things that we see. Right, he just randomly has emotional fluctuations because he remembers something completely unrelated. He's playing life in augmented reality. Like his loved ones are trying to induce dementia so he stops remembering things that just randomly make him violent.
That's fucking dark. Oh, they got Guinness on tap. Do you think there's a, you think Yo, there's, there's a, no head on that. Do you think there's a single bar in Ireland that doesn't have Guinness on tap? Oh my God. Okay, we need to hit up Ryan for a stream together. Like, I want to do more streams with Ryan a lot. I was really sad that he wasn't here for this movie, um, that, that he couldn't do it. Yeah, he, I love um, hanging out with Ryan. Yeah. yeah um, he's discovered that the Guinness Facebook page is fucking nuts. Really? There are people who are super into Guinness. Yeah. Specifically just Guinness beer. Yeah. And the Facebook page for it, where everyone, like, shares themselves drinking Guinness, is goddamn hilarious. That sounds awesome, and I, I listen. I love Guinness. It's and I, I mean, can see like, that it's, it's like they're religious about it, right? Like they're really, really hardcore about right. it, right? When I drink beer, it's going to be like a a frou frouy, you know, small batch, like craft beer or something. But Have like it, I can see, like oh, of the regular beers, Guinness is probably the be one of the better ones. I went to a bar on St. Patrick's Day, and I go in there, right? They got fucking shamrocks all over the walls. They got fucking the, the waitresses are running around wearing shirts that say Guinness on big bright green shirts that say Guinness on them. There's like decorative uh, Guinness uh, posters all over the walls. Like literally everywhere you turn in this in in this 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 bar. It was it was a restaurant yeah. slash it was a restaurant slash bar. Marketing. Listen, listen. It's, there's, it's there's, marketing. There's, there's, no, there's a story here. Listen. Okay. And I'm looking around and I'm like, fuck, there's a lot of Guinness stuff in here. This is wild. And then I sit down and uh, uh, they, the waitress comes over. I'm like, I'm going to have the corned beef and cabbage. That's what I came here for. You got that? She's like, yeah, we got that. You know, it's a traditional like uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day thing. You know? Oh, I, I, I love corned beef. You like Good it? Good corned beef is. Oh, it's yeah. so. I, I, yeah, I, me too. There's, there's a place on the coast. That I that I love going to a little um, Irish place in my in my favorite little town, um, and like I I had the corned beef there and I have never forgotten it. You know they oh don't. Oh my god! When I asked to, to, for when I asked for that in Ireland, they uh, they they didn't know what it was. They don't eat that there. Really? Yeah. Huh. They don't eat that. It's a, it's a it's an immigrant thing, apparently. But anyway, interesting. Anyway, huh. I'm in this place. That's, that's I cool. order the food. She goes, what would you like to drink? I'm like, obviously, I'm having a Guinness. And she goes, oh, we don't have any. What? I shit you not. I, my, I, I, I looked at her. I'm like, you, uh, you what? <laughs> she said, yeah, we don't have any Guinness. And I looked around and then I look at her shirt. I'm like, you get, it says, you know, it says Guinness on your shirt. She's like, I know, we don't have any. I'm like, well, where, well, where, well, where is it? It's St. Patrick's Day. Where's the Guinness? What, what happened? It, she's like, I don't know. Do you want something else? Like, she started getting annoyed, and I'm like, well, you know what? Hold up, because I'm fucking annoyed. Because guess what? It's St. Patrick's Day. I want to have a Guinness. There's Guinness shit everywhere. Like, who fucked up? Someone fucked up. Right, someone fucked up. They, right. if somebody didn't order the Guinness like the, in time for St. Patrick's Day or whatever. And here's the thing too: I'd been to this this place before. They always have Guinness. And I know you think you're right. like, oh well, they ran out because it was like, bro, it was like noon. Okay. It was literally fucking noon. They did no, they didn't fucking run out of Guinness. They, they never just had didn't Guinness. Have it. What? Now what? Now interesting thing happened though. Because the waitress was like, okay, listen, we have a really similar stout that's from Ireland. You know the, the MMA fighter? His name's Conor McGregor. Yes, I've heard the name. He apparently, I don't, I doubt he is involved in the process whatsoever, but he owns a brewery in somewhere in Ireland and they make a stout. And they were like, oh, we have that. We have his beer. He has a whiskey, too, apparently. But he has this beer. He, he, they brew this beer, too. And I... Go ahead. They, uh... I was like, fuck it. I'll try it. They brought it to me. Right? Um... Good. Really good. Actually. 
like surprisingly, surprisingly Ooh. good. Wife beater beer. Poggers. <laughs> I like the idea that Connor McGregor is involved in the process of making this beer, but in only one way. When they are like casking it up to ship, he like he gets on a pair of ladders and they put the big cask beneath him. Like it's his straddled legs. He squats down and dips his balls in to each one individually. So like they put it under, he dips him in, stands back up. They move the keg. They put a new one in, dips down, dips his balls in it, gets back up. He does that for every single cask. I guess that's why I liked it so much. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Okay. It was, it, you know what it was like? It was like a tastier Guinness. It was Guinness with like a little bit more body and flavor. Like, yeah, it's it was, the, it's the ball. It might have just been his fucking ball sweat, honestly. Yeah. I don't remember what the name of the beer was, but you could probably Google this really easily and find out. I wanted to just spend a minute on like my moderator, Wispbones, is because me and Wisp are now like of the one mind, you know, at this point where she just in all caps chat, can you not milkshake duck for one second? Aren't you tired? Aren't you weary? Like, aren't you just so sick of it? Like, isn't it just so fucking exhausting? Like, I'll say, I'll, I'll say a name in this chat. I'll say a name. And then all of a sudden it's like, did you know that guy beat his wife? I don't want to talk about that, bro. I want to talk about beer. I'm talking about a beer right now. Can you people learn how to read a fucking room? Mike, once you've been Holy on Twitter shit. for long enough, everywhere is Twitter. Yeah, no, he did. He, Fred, you nailed it, dude. You fucking nailed it. Holy Christ, you nailed it. Nobody asked. I didn't ask if the guy beat his wife. I wasn't. That's not the conversation I'm trying to have. Come on, man. Everything is fuff. Spit. Everything is fuff. Fuff. Mike, nice cream the rabbit cosplay. Guinness is the Heineken of stouts. I'm I'm slowly realizing this, but I still really like Guinness. I mean, Heineken blows. So that's not really a nice, a great comparison. It's called Forged Stout. Yeah, Forged. Yeah. If if I'm going to drink beers nowadays, like I don't drink much alcohol. Um, you don't, But right? if I'm going to drink right. it, yeah. Not a drinker, but if, but, if, not a but if, I, if I am going to drink it, it's probably either going to be a Hefeweizen or a Sour. I love Hefeweizens. Hefeweizens are so nice. I, I love wheat beers. Here's my thing, man. I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm a fucking whore for beer. Like, I just love beer. I love all different kinds of beer. I love trying new beers. I love fucking having different, vastly different kinds of beers. Like a Hefeweizen and a Stout cannot be more different. You know, right. and, but it's like, I, but I thoroughly enjoy both of them. And now yeah. I'm going to have to stop drinking beer because I'm old and fat. And do you know part of the th part of the reason that this this trip with this Prague and Germany thing that we're doing? Mm -hmm. Because it's a beer tour, dude. This is those yeah. are, those are beer places. That's part of the reason we're going there. Mm. Like that is like the beer valley of Europe in there, you know? Right. Um and I, I see it like this. Those two weeks are going to be like my last fucking. Okay, I I know how fucking naive this is. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> go there and I'm gonna I'm gonna just fucking have a my last hurrah drink. A ton of beer, mm. and then come back Enjoy here. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, and then come back here and just like never drink beer again. Mm -hmm. No, I, I I get it. And I, I told Chad this, and they were like, "You will fail. That's culp." You will fail. Destined to failure. No. Yeah. Actually, chat, hear me out. This is genius. Because Mike is going to go to Germany, have all of these, like, very specific, you know, micro-brewed beers, just the best beers in the world in Germany. Yeah. He's going yeah. to fucking Germany. Yeah. He, and th this is genius because he's going to have all that amazing beer. He's going to come back. He's going to take us, like, he's going to break his promise to himself and take a sip of Guinness. And you know what he's going to do? He's going to say, it's not as good. It's going to be disappointing. 
Yeah, he is yeah. going. Well, Gu- he Guinness is going is... to sip of the nectar of life. Yeah, and nothing else will measure up. I will be in Bavaria. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. There is no Guinness in Germany. Impossible. They have to export it there. You know, one of the things I learned in Ireland is that Guinness has breweries all over the world. They don't make all the Guinness in Ireland and ship it out over everywhere. They mm. ha- Guinness has breweries in like in like Canada. I think most of our the Guinness that we drink in the U.S. is actually from Canada. Um, yeah, I mean Germany probably has its own stouts, like its own kinds of stouts and shit. There's one in Baltimore. There's one in Maryland, apparently. No shit. Right. Um, you want to watch this shit? Yeah, let's let's check this out. Hey, yo, hold on. Here, Fig says. Me and my boyfriend are locals living in Prague. If you'd like to help, help, yo, I still have very little concept of what the fuck I'm going to do in Prague. If you would send me an email and tell me some cool places to go, that would be so epic, honestly. I would really, really appreciate that. My email is in the chat. If you, I would love that, actually. And yeah, those of you who have already emailed me, I am looking at them. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. I'm going to respond to all of you eventually. Thank you, guys. Um, but yeah, if you could send me an email, if you want to be like, yo, go here, go here, go here, I would love that. Honestly, thank you so much. I'm gonna play. And oh. then Mike can yell at you when your suggestions suck. It's stream <laughs> content. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to play this he shit. He will though. do that. I'm going to play this shit. That's not a Guinness. That's why it didn't have a head. You were looking for a head. Not all beers have heads. It's coming. It's coming. Hmm. It was just, that was a Smithwick's, Smithwick's Ale. You know about Smithwick's? No, I don't. Fucking Smithwick's. This dude's just going to get more violent as he drinks more beers, isn't he? They brought him a bag of chips. Why were they guarding the... Oh, uh-oh. 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 Did you did you hear the noise? Holy shit! Yeah. He's just gonna go up and punch him, isn't he? Hey, Barbie, why don't you apologize? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's so. I love how he silently hit the tile, and yeah. he got chucked. I was really hoping he was going to just hit the bartender. Oh my god, this shot! They love, like, the center, like... You know what that reminded me of? Can I, can I back this up a sec? I want to see this again. This is, like, one of those shots where, like, the... A- this is, like, the angry video game nerd <laughs> is about to tell it you... Is. The angry video game nerd is about to tell you why something, like, why a game he doesn't like sucks more dick than a donkey's asshole or whatever the fuck he says. <laughs> it's diarrhea doo-doo. Diarrhea doo-doo donkey dick! Or whatever the fuck. Like, this is one of those shots, right? Oh, dude, no, go back. Did you see the way the dude just, like, stuck his ass out? He's like... Mm. Where? Up, up here? He had a uh, he, no, that, he stuck it out. Yo, keep. He, yo, he stuck out his gat for the Rizzler? Yeah. For the Arsler. He's the Arsler. Mm. That entire time, that guy never dropped his cigar. That I want to that's mm-hmm. oh, that's epic. That dude had, That's a, awesome. had a cigar in his mouth the entire time. It's still in his mouth. It's, dude, sti- it's still good tobacco. Yeah. I'm not going to waste it. I love it's still in- just the monks in the corner. The monks are just vibing. Look, 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 he's still, it's still, he's still smoking he's it. He's still look. got it. He's still smoking it. The monks are observing. That's what they're here to do. They're here to observe. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. They're going to be like, yeah. ah, yes, you are the chosen bar fighter. Exactly. <laughs> bar foo. This is like an alcoholic Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> no, this, this movie is just a Cerveza Cristal ad. 
I've, I'm not I'm not aware of Cerveza Crystal. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Chat said, so regular Obi-Wan Kenobi. Here we go. I Okay, so a, a small explanation. I thought that this was fake, but this is actually real. I'm being spaghetti Bob. Star Wars. Yes, you're being spaghetti bobbed. But Star Wars. <laughs> He's like, I'm bobbing on, you. Get over I it. Don't, I don't even care. Suck it up, you bitch. This... The uh, in Brazil, I think it is. Um, or no, 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 no. Sorry, it's not. It's not Brazil. Um, it's uh, 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 fuck. Chile. Chat says Chile. Thank you. It's Chile. Um, they got the rights to Star Wars, but they had an idea to keep people engaged for the advertisements. So they spliced extra little cuts into the movie just before the ad breaks. What? I beg of you to watch this. What? Yes. It's genius. They edited the movie is what you're telling me? Y yes, watch. Just before the ads. ¿Usted escuchó en las guerras clones? Sí. Fui uno de los caballeros Jedi, igual que tu padre. No lo conocí. Era el mejor piloto estelar de la galaxia. Un astuto guerrero. Entiendo que tú también has llegado a ser un excelente piloto. Era un buen amigo. Lo que me recuerda, tengo algo para ti. Cerveza cristal. Cerveza cristal. And then it went straight into the ads. That's incredible. This is real. That's amazing. And they did it's... that. <laughs> they did that multiple times. That's so yeah, good. Here's another. Here's another. That is so fucking good. Here's another. Sí. Te lo aseguro. Estamos a salvo de tus amigos aquí. This is DMCA the fuck out of me. De confianza. It's okay. Tu fe en tus amigos es la tuya. Es inútil resistir, hijo mío. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. It's so genius. There are a few more. You know what? This pissed off some nerds, though. I bet you. <laughs> Probably. This is on fucking real. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. There, there were, there were articles about it way back in the day. It, what these won an award. And this fucking song, this fucking song. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's great. It's so good. One more. I have one more for you. Oh, this is unreal. Pero dime por qué no, no puedo. No, no hay un porqué. It's fucking Yoda. <laughs> this is fucking incredible. Uh, a friend, a ch chatter is saying a friend of mine knew the guy behind the edits, and that was the only way that advertisers could put ads in movies without interrupting said movie. Well, I mean, you would just assume that it would be a regular commercial break. Right? Right. Which, you know, we, we see all the time. Yeah. The commercials cost like $50 to film, too. That's uh, uh, right. I mean, what, what could be simpler than a guy picking up a can of beer? Holy shit. Wow, that's fucking wild. I, I never heard of this this brand of, of beer. Me, I, I think it's a pretty small brand in Chile. 
their license didn't allow proper ad breaks. What, the television station's license? Well, I mean, I feel like if this is a way, if this is a kind of a loophole, it's going to create as many problems as it solves, no? It's apparently a terrible beer. Someone's saying it's PBR tier. Oh, PBR, ew. PBR tastes like chewing on the end of a wheat stalk. <laughs> and not in a good way. Mike, that was no, the early no. 90s chili. It was on Chile Vision. They couldn't have ad breaks. Chile didn't allow... Chilean television didn't have ads? Um, fucking based? Seriously? What? Chile fucking made commercials illegal? Unbelievably fucking incredibly... Based? Shockingly fucking based. Was it because of a, there was a dictator? Um, dictator dub? Hello? Cerveza Cristal is a, the basic bitch of Chilean beers. What's up, Wolf? Uh, here in Puerto Rico, the commercial breaks is cutting to the commercials mid-movie, and then when they come back, an entire scene is missing. <laughs> The ads were the scene. If you don't yeah. get it, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> right, 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 right. Holy shit. All right, so let's get back to our regularly scheduled. Now, we had a fucking ad break. All right, but now we're, yeah. ready, to, we're ready to get back. The way I'm going to seamlessly get back into this is I'm going to have a scene where uh, I wrestle, like I wrestle Fred with my mouth agape. And I've got a and cigar in my mouth. And I grab his penis and drop him onto a pool table. <laughs> grab him by the cock and hoist him onto a pool table. No, he grabs me by the cock and throws me around like a plushie. <laughs> hitting me against the wall. <laughs> hey, that's not legal. You didn't call out the pocket. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, my spleen! Have a drink. Get the hell out of here, you little tully art bastard. You little what? Have a drink. You know, we could use some of these right here. Get the hell out of here, you little tully art bastard. You chunky Joe, you chunky Joe, chunky. <laughs> shoot him. Please, God, shoot, shoot him. him. Fuck you and you're going, you prick. Man, I can't understand half what they're fucking saying. It's the room. Yeah, it's not It's, it's, it's not the, the mic. accent. It's, awful. it's the sound boom design. Mics. Yeah. No, they didn't get boom mics because boom mics look too much like penises. And mm. this is a straight movie. A straight, straight movie. By the way. Tell your boss, I think he has enough people working for him. I'd only be stepping on other people's toes. On other people's doors. Toes. I'd only be God stepping damn. on other people's toes. Toes coming up again tonight? Yeah. I knew where we were headed, apparently. Toad Town. Oh, Sucked hey, I'm just in... putting this back together after the main character knocked it over again. Very destructive, man. What the fuck is this? Beat up my- I don't know! Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> he just screams. What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> this... No, I get it, man. That's, that's how people react to me walking into the room, too. Can somebody clip this? Because this is going on the soundboard when I get it. When I act <laughs> actually, El Garbo sent me the new the new uh, stream deck. I just have to set they it up. They did. Yeah, they sent me a replacement. I'm I got it. I'm not gonna be fucking with it till I get back from Europe. I don't I don't want to. It's just that's gonna, super valid. It's just gonna like like I don't care. I'm gonna wait till I get back. I'm I'm procrastinating that shit. Bro, this 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 right here is primo. Like, just right here. What the fuck is this? Beat up my men, weak. 
just the what the fuck is this? That's I'm gonna have that on a button, and when I press it, it's that's gonna come on screen. Like I want a little, <laughs> I want a video clip. The dude turning, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the turning and the what the fuck is this? That's perfect. staring directly at you, like looking into your goddamn soul. Yeah. Who did this, Bennett? Bennett? Yeah, he turned on your offer. How did the automatic captions catch that? Uh, Said so he turned down your your offer, right? Yeah. How did it understand him? It just did. It just did. Yeah, that's not ominous. Guess Please what? tell me he just walks off. Fly into a tournament. It says, Dear Mario, yeah. <laughs> I've baked you a cake. God, to get into that is such a huge. Oh my god, we got into Smash Brothers. No, it's a pie. How did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> He's a, uh, a pie. Someone, please, like, edit, edit him into Smash Brothers. Dear pesky plumbers. Dear Mario. I've baked you a pie, you fucking junkie. You junkie Mario, junkie Joe. Junkie Mario Joyce. He's gone. He fucking teleported, bro. James Bennett. Holy shit, it's Coke time, baby. You ready for some booger sugar, buddy? Fred, you want to bump? Fred, are you alive? I'm alive. Um, I'm. Well, I'm. No, I'm Ryan might this. be able to join for a minute, right. apparently. Oh, do you want to get him in He's here? Typing me. Maybe. Uh, we're, I'm, I'm seeing. I'm seeing. McGregor, like, I want to ask you a question. The other day down the pub, I heard this guy Ben put you in your fucking ass. He goes. Uh, McGregor, I want to ask you a question. How is YouTube managing this? And it's like, well, I, you know, I, I mean, yes, I get, I think. Dear Mario. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Dear Mario. I just baked an absolute dog shit cake. Just completely fucked it up. Please don't come to my castle. Signed, Princess Toadstool, Peach. Chatter says the, they trained the algorithm for the uh, for the captions off of the Assassin Rappers YouTube channel. That's why Don't it's able to it's able to understand. No boss, no boss. I have that bastard anytime. He just threw a lucky punch or two. He just what? We're gonna he try that again. A, a, he just ordered a raunchy toad. <laughs> raunchy toads are this this season's hottest gift item, bro. <laughs> Check out the, the Guinness hat. Guinness hat, yeah. I have that bastard any time. He just threw a lucky punch or two. No boss, no boss, he just threw a lucky punch. Any punch you throw or something? Punch well, I'm telling you something, right? And you listen, and listen fucking good. I'm not paying you to stand around here scratching your fucking ass, right? Now, if you don't get your finger out, I get fucking out of here. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. That man has put out more cigarettes than he's lit, than he's, like, smoked. Yeah. Like, he will light cigarettes and then just put them out. Oh, you had to get a close-up of his muscles. Arnis? Those are Arnis sticks, right? What's so goddamn funny? <laughs> Did 
This is supposed to be the training montage music, but it's actually like, I don't know, goofy uh, sitcom music again. They found right. it in an audio library. Yeah. You know what? They probably had like a couple of discs with royalty free music on them and he just had to use whatever he could find. Mike, I found the place in Prague you got to visit. A 700 year old pub called U Med Medviktku. Look it up on Wikipedia. See, I'm not going to remember that. Like, that's the thing. I, I mean, I'm going to end this stream and have no memory that you said that. If you could email that to me, that'd be fucking best. Meet me. No! Tomorrow by the Seven Oaks. Why? The, the, the way the music abruptly stops. Because I'm going to work with you. Why would I want to work with you all night? Your father said that the first time I met him. Look what? at his fucking beard. Look at his beard. What do you know about my father? Meet me tomorrow at midday. Meet and fuck kingdom. That's a lot of flies. Look at that. Meet me tomorrow at midday for an arse whooping. <laughs> Chunky Joe. Chunky, J Chunky Joe Joyce. Chunky James Joyce. Huffing his farts. <laughs> James. Oh, this one is going naughty. out. This is going out to you. A Chunky J Junky James Joyce. You, you, you and you horror. Huffing your farts. Getting high off them farts. Masturbating and jerking your penis to them farts like you freaking, you're a freaking pervert, you, you chunky James Joyce. Well, I'm calling you out. You had huffed my sister's farts and you jerked off in your pants on the bus. I saw you, chunky Joe, jerk your penis, chunky Joe, jerking. Well, I'm calling you out. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to lay out you in the street. I'm challenging you to a fight, me and you, man to man, mano y mano, for my sister's farts. You can't have them, Junkie Joe. You can't have them, Junkie James Joyce. You can't have them. Irish fugue state. <laughs> I know you huffed me sister's farts on the bus going down McConnell Avenue on Thursday night. Well, I'm calling you out, Junkie James Joyce! You junkies, bastards, fart sniffer you are! As Fred completely ignores me. <laughs> Yo. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Some so something something minorly okay. Something pressing came up. Uh oh. I'm, I'm so sorry. You gotta I'm like, go. I'm, Everything. No, up? I. Uh, give me like a couple of minutes. You want me to do a BRB? Uh. No, don't do don't do a BRB. I'll just be um. Just keep going for a minute, and I'll. You want I'll me to play? You want to like... play the movie, or you want me to wait for you to? Deal with your whatever the fuck you got to deal with. Play 105 Degree Fever again. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> actually, I'm v actually vetoing that. Junky James Joyce. You fart Here, I'll, off and I'll, I'll be... fart off and bastard you. I'll, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm, right. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm sorry that like my attention gets dragged away for a second. It's fine. Just do what you have to do, dude. It happened to me earlier tonight. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Mike has an alter ego, and he's very Irish and very angry. You think I could have been Irish in another life? Like you think that like okay, like let's let's say I was an Italian chat. What do you think I would be? Like what like what 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 nationality like do you think? Like what Polish you could see? Why Polish? Indian. Um someone said gay. Jewish. Um, a lot of people just saying gay. Like, a lot of people are just saying gay. Sogon Diz. Uh, 
They're saying Turkish. Okay. New Caledonian. Red. Quebecois. Yeah, really? Greek. Okay. Scottish. Seen a bunch of people saying Scottish. Why is it Greek? Those saying Greek are 100% right. Why? Why Greek? Greeks are Italians too. Yeah, it's not... That's not different enough, frankly. For this to be like an interesting conversation. Portuguese. Fucking... I mean, give, give me like a short explanation of why you're saying that. Right? Jabroni Miguelito would be Mexican. Someone said Greeks are simply femboy Italians. You know what? You know what's a great meme. On, on, <clears throat> what I really enjoy. I enjoy this very much. You'll have like I'm gonna make. I'm gonna like make one up for the sake of the, explaining this to you. Where it'll be like I don't like like you you need two like rivaling countries. All right. So let's say it's like. Let's say it's like Greece and Turkey. All right. And it'll be like. If if it was if it was made by a Greek person, it'll be like Greeks, uh, Greece's weakest man, and it it'll just and it'll be like Giga Chad, and then it'll be like the the ma the manliest Turkish guy, and it's a femboy. You know those you know those memes. Classic, yeah, and you and you know you know what's great about it? Just insert, take the meme. And just insert whatever whatever countries you want. Just you know what you know what I'm saying? Bulk they're saying that's Balkan humor. Balkan memes? <laughs> that's Balkan posting. That's where that came from. Cause you know, it's 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 like the part of the reason like why that's so funny to us is because it's like, oh it's look, it's an Armenian meme like making fun of, you know, like people uh, like Serbians. And you're like I'm sorry, but I don't. I I would not be able to tell the two of you apart, like if it, if my life depended on it. Like no offense. And then there's these memes where you're like vitriolically saying this about each other. <laughs> and it's like, oh, is 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 it like that? Because if you reversed these, I'd have no idea. You know, I. Uh. Armenia is on the other side of the Black Sea. Okay, shut the fuck up. I, I, did I mean Albania? I think I meant Albania. I'm pretty sure I meant Albania. Yeah, I, I, I did mean Albania. Yeah, I did. Oops. Oops! Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Remember when a war started there? Because, because a guy... Um, put a bottle up his ass and then didn't want and then had to go get it removed at the hospital and didn't want to admit that he put a bottle up his own ass so he said that like Albanians did it <laughs> explain I just did that happened hey I'm back what's up everything cool yeah we're good sorry about that <clears throat> and we, we were we were talking about um one of the one of the Balkan wars started because a farmer um said that a, a bunch of soldiers from across the border um shoved a, a bottle up his ass or a jar up his ass and he went to the emergency room and they read to remove the jar from his ass and we, the, the 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 big conspiracy theory is that the event that kicked off this war was happened because this guy put a bottle up his own ass and then didn't want to admit that he did it. Yeah, that sounds right. This contributed significantly to the separation of Yugoslavia. 
Because a guy didn't want to admit that he put a bottle up his ass and couldn't get it out. Well, I mean, I feel like at that point, that's just an excuse, right? Like, he needed someone to blame shoving a bottle up his ass on. Guys, remember, only put it up there if it has a flared base. That's it, it, It's a bottle. It doesn't have a flared base. Exactly. So he was like, if I, so I, go, I have to go to the hospital to get this out. I'm not telling them I did this to myself. What's the... What's the likeliest thing that could have happened? Some soldiers that... Well, yeah. at that point, yeah. at that point, Yugoslavia is just, like, looking for an excuse, right? Th that's, like, th well, yeah, but that's... At that point, the conversation's becoming more serious than I wanted it to be, you know? Like, it's just... Right. I just wanted to be like, oh, yeah, that guy put that up as a... That guy mm. put a bottle up as a... You ready to watch this shit, bud? I really... Yes, I'm ready. You know what? I'm waiting for this guy to shove like a bottle of Guinness up someone's ass, right? Like yeah. so someone someone is going to just kind of make a slightly like a, a statement that could be misconstrued as rude to a shop worker and he's going to like grab a bottle and shove it up a dude's ass. And then it'll and then it'll be like, well, it's not going to be a bottle of Guinness. It's going to be a bottle of uh, Chris, uh, Cristal, Cerveza, Cerveza Cristal. Cerveza Cristal. And, yeah, you're and, see and then the, when the guy pulls the, the the can out of his own ass, it's going to be like Cerveza Cristal or whatever that song was. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to play this shit. Mike, you have one and a half house to finish this movie. Wait, hours. I'm pretty sure House. I can. I'm pretty sure I can stop whenever, whenever I want. But, but okay. If you watch it for too long, Yugoslavia will invade. It's gonna, which would be impressive because they have. Did you just fucking see that? Yeah. What he, he did a gay little hop that pissed you off. <laughs> There's a lot of weird hopping. If anybody should be hopping around here, it's me. All right. Why did he hit? What? This is someone's backyard. He's actually just trespassing at this point. Who put the kettle on? Have you a cup of chunky, chunky James Joyce? <laughs> Oh shit. That's fucking Radagast, bro. <laughs> the Hobbit was a ripoff yeah. of Fatal Deviation. <laughs> uh, this is actually great. The way he keeps jump scaring everybody. I love it. Duh! Expect the unexpected. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, Mike. Isn't that a like 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 a slogan for something? Expect the unexpected. It's a. Oh, he said it's it's a Lambo Regini gaming toilets. Lambo Regini gaming toilets. Expect, expect the, the unexpected. unexpected. Expect the unexpected. He said expect us like it was a Harry Potter spell. Like expect the unexpected. No, you know, like the reason the reason that he can get around so fast is because he's Sonichu. We found them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's got the shirt. He does have the shirt. Sonichu. He does have the shirt. He does have punished Chris. Stop. I always thought expect the unexpected is a really, w was just a very stupid thing to say. It's like, well, if I expect it, then it's not expected anymore. Thank you. It, it, it's now expected. Yeah. Isn't it, asshole? So there's a very redundant, stupid fucking thing to say. No, 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 he's right. It's very, it's always annoyed me. I, I can't fucking expect the unexpected. It's from Roadhouse. Yeah, Ro Roadhouse sucks. But I was just, your training begins tomorrow. He was like, eh. 
They're just smacking that thing. That's not even. Eh. It's not even punches. It's. The creature's name must still be on the ban list. We we have the person's name on the ban list. The fucking word Sonichu is also on our ban list. You can't even say Sonichu. Good choice. Yeah. What if I grab it? Every day you want to train, you want to work hard, and the day will come. Stand on man, I'd be very proud of you. I'm very proud of you, Nelson. <laughs> I love, I love that he had to qualify. I'm proud of you now, but I will also be proud of you later. Yeah. Maybe. This music was made by tapping on radiator pipes. <laughs> He's just passed out on the ground. Finch powers. Finch powers. <laughs> uh, Fred? Mm -hmm. Th that wasn't water. No. He was fucking playing the bagpipes. It was diegetic, Fred. It was, it was. diegetic. It's a fucking obnoxious instrument, but I like it. It's not a bagpipe. It's an, well, an Ulilian pipe? I mean, it's very similar, right? Yeah, same basic mechanic. I'd, oh, well, the Ulilian pipe uses a pedal. It sounds... Never mind. I, I don't hear a difference. Poop my pants, my pants, poop my pants. Pants against pants. sex, have sex. Poop my pants and then poop my tent and then poop my pants again. Have sex, have sex, have sex. Poop my pants and have sex. Poop your pants and have sex, have sex. Poop your pants and then poop your pants and then poop your tent and have sex. Wait, when this girl reappear? Who cares? I feel like girl just happens sometimes. Yeah, girl, girl just happen. Just like in real life. No one expect girl unless you expect the unexpected. Yeah. But, are, but, but if women just randomly appear, shouldn't they be expected? Right. Um, it's a nice shot, actually. Really like the nice, nice framing. I love the castle back there. The, ca the castle is carrying a lot of weight here. I, Mike, there was... Neil Breen has put out a new movie. When? And one thing that, yeah, and one thing that people when? have commented on is that the movie seems like it has way better cinematography than any other movie that Neil Breen has done so far. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. There's a reason that the cinematography is so much nicer. It's because all of the backgrounds are just stock Shutterstock photos what? that he's bought. All of the backgrounds, he, he's filmed almost everything on a green screen, and all the backgrounds are just Shutterstock photos, and the photographers of these stock photos are competent. And Get so he's just, out of here. he's just transposed himself onto these photographs. So the, there's, there's never any movement in the background. There's never any movement, movement in the scenes, except for the actors. I'm going to have to show you the trailer for this, I think. Hold on. Uh... New Breen sucks. It's all green screen and is a little self-aware. Really. Here, I think I think this is it. Here we go. The, the tortured crossing. Did you link it to somebody else again? No, I'm linking it to you now. Interesting. Yeah, let's take a little peek at this.
Uh, is that? That's not. That's not new. New Frenchstein, right, Chat? That's that looks like a that looks like a French chateau. This looks like something. the castle in uh, Maradonia. No, it's not Doofenshmirtz. That that is Nuschwanstein. He really he used he put Nuschwanstein in. You know I'm going to this castle, right? That's awesome. I told you. I tried to get him to come with me. He was like, "Nah, you're gay. I'm not going with you." Nah, you're gay. Yeah, that's what he said. He's not gonna come. I did. I I I asked Fred if he wanted to come, and he said, "Go fuck yourself." Mm hmm. It's the rear side. Few people take photos of this side. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going here. I'm gonna be here. Oh yeah. Guess what? They responded to my application for a film to to film here. And they said, "Oh really? Yeah, because you, you can apply for like a permit." And the guy he told me, um, "It depends on like whether or not." I, I don't know how to explain it. The the application was wasn't just for this castle. It was for like multiple properties that they manage. Basically, that's who I emailed, and they were like, mm -hmm. "We can give you a permit, but it depends on when and what castle." So I I, I gave him more information and everything. I told him it was a stream, a live stream, and everything. He get he fully understands what I want to do. Right. I imagine that you are far from the only person who has attempted to yeah. live stream here. A permit to film in public. It it's not really public though. Yeah. And also, yeah, Germany's weird. Germany has weird privacy laws and shit. But, um, I don't know. I, it, it, it's not looking likely, though, honestly, that I'm going to get to do it. So, whatever. We'll see. It's not looking good. I think together... We can make a success of this project. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, why aren't their mouths moving? They are. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Our heroes. I, we will never let them down. Why didn't? Oh, wow! Holy <laughs> shit! This so this, this wow, uh, wow 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 wow. Oh oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! This youth trafficking is disgusting. We had two more last night. Th they did this to avoid having to like. Get sec secure sets and stuff. Yeah. Oh Green my. It. Oh my God. He was probably like, I don't understand why, why, why can't we just green screen everything? Like, is there some reason why we can't just green screen everything? And the answer was yes. <laughs> there. Yes, the answer was yes. He got his hands on a stock footage library. I'd like to point out that, like, can we take a minute to go and look at all of the stock people in that ballroom? Yeah. A couple shots ago. Right here. That one? Yeah. Okay, so the one on the left is like a business, it's supposed to be a stock business meeting, and the one on the far right is someone showing off a house for sale. Well, I believe that the people were all in the room together, though, right? Like, they were all... Oh, no. No, absolutely not. These are all individual little, like, Actors. stock video. Oh, it's... Like, they, it's this stock... is all stock video. It's stock video. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then they, he's taken multiple stock video scenes and pasted them into this shot. Oh, my God. Oh my God! <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah. This youth trafficking is disgusting. We had two more last night. This is abysmal! Holy it's shit! It's really bad. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, stop! That wasn't green screen, though. <laughs> did, did, wait. I think that mental hospital was like. No, he got a real overlaid. Set. He got a real set here. Like this is an actual. No, look. It it in the way that he's walking in. There's no space for the words mental hospital. That was that that was also stock. There's no shadows. Th this is a stock image right here, bro. I don't know if this is a stock image, but he also has green screened himself into this shot. This is a photo. These are photos. Yeah. He discovered green screens. Well, well I mean, like, Neil, this is clearly a, a, a photo of an abandoned hospital. Well, why would it why would it have patients in it? Oh, oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. God. Every yeah, everyone's too small. <laughs> <laughs> I like the dude. <laughs> Why did he do that? Look at the colossal <laughs> wheelchair behind him. It's huge. Look. What the? No, I, I like the idea that Neil Breen is actually just really tiny. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> We're doing the best we can. We're trying. We're trying. That... Uh, oh, why'd she say it twice? That's not good enough. She was hit by a wheelchair. Let go! Ah! Help! They're all green screened onto the beds. You bet. <laughs> oh my god. Why did they do this? Why did he do this? Why? Lighting's hard. Did he do this? He's better at hiding it than Tommy Wiseau, but he knows the reputation his movies have, and he feeds into it. I'm not convinced. I think he thinks he's making art. Yeah. Tommy Wiseau is a hack. I want to see where my money's been going. Please don't let them hurt me anymore. Maybe. <laughs> What do you know about the patient trafficking that's going on here? Can I? He, he, look the, at her. Why don't they look is, at each other? I can't explain it, but there's a specific kind of shot that I have only ever seen Neil Breen do. And it's this, where like one person is kind of off way too far on the side. And the other person is like in like on the third of the frame. I can't. Yeah. He, I've only ever seen him do this. Like, there are other weird framings that he does that I've never seen anyone else do, and it's confounding. Well, there's a whole, like, uh, school of thought here with, like, the, right, the third, uh, rule of thirds and the blocking and everything, and he just apparently doesn't uh, abide by any of that shit. He, j he apparently doesn't care about any of that. He just does his own, his own thing. It's called right, the like rule he... of fourths, sweetie. Look it up. <laughs> the rule of fourths, sweaty. Whatever a the fuck Dutch it is. Of an ankle. <laughs> w whatever it is, he clearly doesn't give a shit about it. Right. He cle no, I, clearly he doesn't fucking care about it. I I would love to hear his philosophy on how he frames shots. What do you know about the gene editing research? Ignore. You must know something. <laughs> you fucking ignored. <laughs> Look at this. There's been a huge. What was that? He, I love the way he tapes facial hair onto himself. The amount of kidnapping of the youths and runaways that are being used for medical testing. Uh, we'd like you to keep a lookout for any irregularities that might happen at your lab. We can make a difference with him. Well, I, I mean, like, I couldn't hear what he was saying because there was a weird, like, musical hit, like, a, like an orchestral hit. I... Mm -hmm. We will make a difference. Uh. 
What the fuck am I looking at? I don't know. What, He's what, a cat now. What's the significance of that? He is Mike. Neil. That is Neil Breen, right? That's him? Yes, that yeah. is Neil Breen. Yeah. I beg of you to just hit play. Let it play. We've taken in six new. Fred. This guy is, yeah. is he's, he's, he's self-aware. He, there's no way. He's self-aware. He knows what he's doing. Mm-mm. You really don't he's think so? He's making art. I think he's, I think he earnestly thinks he's making art. Really? New patients yeah. this week. Yeah. We've lost two. We can't afford to lose any. Patients are money. Wherever there's an injustice, I will be there. Wherever there's a fight, we will be there. Oh, so it's like fatal deviation. Never. Wherever there's a fight, we'll be there. Wherever there isn't a fight, we'll start a fight. This is fucked. They are coming yeah. for you, my warriors. This is what I've been preparing you for. Dude, he crossed uh, torturedly. Do do we um? I, I, can can we watch that on stream or? What, I don't like think so. To, or is it? I don't think no, so. Right? Like, Cade, the tortured crossing. Holy shit! All right, I'm gonna play this trash. Okay. Look how we're only 30 minutes into this, Fred. You thought that this was going to be a quick jaunt. I did. I did. I really did. Who up bagging they pipes? She tried to skip a rock and just ended up chucking it in. Let me show you how to skip a stone, you dopey bitch. Yeah. And she just bashes him in the fucking <laughs> skull. Like the same thing. <laughs> she just fucking brains him. His eyes pop out of his head. Ireland is pretty. E e even the disgusting cinematography of this movie fails to make Ireland look anything but beautiful. Yeah, I know, right? He's I, flipping that with his I, dick. Oh. I, I was so fucking confused at what I was looking at. I... Look at his weird eyebrows, dude. What is... Uh, oh my god. It, 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 is it like pencil eyebrows? Looks like it. Was he hitting him in the cock, guys? No, in the abs. This, this is a part of training. It, oh, keep, it keeps you it, like it. There are variations of this kind of thing. Like when I was fencing, um, they would have us like pass medicine balls up and then like they'd drop them down onto us and we'd have to, you know, uh, tighten up our abs. Chad was calling him the CBT wizard. I was like, oh. It's just a variation on it. It's just to keep your abs tight. High kicks now. No, tell me about my father first. Yeah. First! What? 
When did when was it ever clear that he knew anything about his father? It, that was that was established, Fred. Oh right, yeah, I was just like, yeah. yeah, right. Fucking this this plot is just like exposition soup. Yeah, yeah, it's it's rancid. I don't blame you for not being able to keep up with this. I mean, it's after training. He's like, damn, you know, I hate to see him go, but I love to watch him leave. His, his mustache makes it look like his nose shat. <laughs> this guy is, is a, he's a poop feaster. He's, he's a loathsome <laughs> dung eater. And sometimes it stains his beard, right? <laughs> he, this wizard eats ass. A In fact, ass. they call him the wizard of ass eating. The best in the biz, baby. The best whiz in the biz, baby. How long has he been training here? I don't know, but he appears to be um, lightly searing his feet for some reason. So uh, there's a problem here. I, I think the problem is that the camera's too far away and so it's not capturing the depth of field at all. So it looks like everything is really flat. That's why it looked like she, um, his girlfriend was gonna brain him. Yeah. When you feel like up. Isn't this the same exact song from the yeah, beginning? Yeah, this is the opening song. There was a poll in the chat. <laughs> Have you ever been to Ireland? And only one of one of the people who participated said yes. I live there. Oh no, I I got that wrong. I lived I lived okay. The world around you only one person lives there. We gotta get those iroid numbers up. What is this? Oh, that's the same castle. I figured it out. This is what the shags thought that they sounded like. The who's? The Shags. My pal's name is Footfoot. Foot. He always likes to roam. You're going to spaghetti bob me again, and I'm not going to let you. All right. Okay. I'm going to press play on this shit. I'm actually astounded that you're into, you know, rock and haven't heard of the Shags. I mean, there's infinite fucking rock bands. Infinite. Well, yeah, but the Shags are specific one of kurt cobain's favorite bands kurt cobain used to listen to bands like a band called the meat puppets and shit and like like, like i don't know dozer like he listened to fucking nonsense i don't know you hurt with every breath you... like he listened to i don't even know like crazy shit the butthole surfers yeah This old man is just fucking with him now. Those are his same Arnie sticks that he was using in a previous the scene. Sh sharing sticks. The sharing sticks. Or sharing sticks? I guess Arnie sticks are smaller, huh? The Meat Curtains. He listened to a band called The Meat Curtains. You cross the sea. Those white pants are going to get grass stains on them. It's going to be very annoying to get that out. Mm -hmm. What's going on now? He's, he's hand directing him like he's a dog at a show. Who the fuck are they? I don't fucking know. They're there to watch his AF. Who the who the fuck were those people? Were you supposed to know who they were? I think I remember. I thought I recognized that one guy's hairline from the the shopping. Uh, right? Aren't these the scene? dudes lackeys? Maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that a scone? What is that? Is that a scone? Come in. Two guys out here want to see you. What do they want? I don't know, boss. Show them in. Come on in. And this guy is wearing a, the Blue's Clues shirt, like the Steve from Blue's Clues shirt. What is it? There he goes, putting out another cigarette. Mm -hmm. In fact, he wasn't smoking one in the previous scene. No, like I said, he has put out more cigarettes than he smoked. What is it? Another huh? another plane has hit the... <laughs> Stop! Sorry, let's not... Where? In the woods, by the Seven Oaks. When? Today! What is it? Why'd they what whisper it? it? What is it? It's that better fella again. Listen, I don't want him in this tournament, right? Now you go and get a couple of men on motorbikes, bring Nicola to the quarry, and kill that mad monk. Leave it to me. I'll sort him. They're gonna kill the monk? How do they even know about the fucking monk? That man has teeth like a horse. I saw that. That was fucked up. So, um, what is it between you and Mikey? <laughs> what the fuck is this spread? Hey, honey, you want to go out into into the forest, eat like 12 oranges, an apple, two bananas, and drink wine? I brought a random selection of fruit for us to enjoy, honey. Do you like them? <laughs> and then spilled them all over the ground. What well. the fuck? Here, honey, uh, spread out the blanket. She spreads it out, and then he just takes a, ba a brown paper bag and just dumps everything onto the blanket. <laughs> I thought I did. But not anymore. Um, Sexy. He missed it. Mm. The dude forgot how to bite. Tell me a bit about yourself. That strawberry was not tell? ripe. But I know something about you. What? Huh. No one has ever done what you did for me the other day. Close your eyes. I know Stop that you're looking at me. I know that you're a clay golem animated by the powers of alchemy. Cycles. Disgusting. What? We off roading, boys. We're gonna sneak up on him. This is nauseating to watch. It is. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dummy. I think that was a dummy. Bike. Bike. He looks so sad. He's like, gee, I sure hope my friend doesn't get kicked in the face. That would make why that would really upset me. He, I sure hope that doesn't happen. Why is he looking around like a patrolling NPC? Wow. <laughs> Helmets are gay. He doesn't need a helmet. No way. He threw it away like he was disgusted by it. Yeah, there yeah. was disgust in it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck shits for pussies. I wonder if there were any knights who were like armors for pussies. Yeah. Had to have been. Had to you have think? been. You think? Absolutely. Like, uh I'm the all-natural knight. 
you know, like take that armor armor off and fight me like a man. Like I had, yeah, had to have been. Get on the bike. Come on. Come on. Christ's blood is my armor. <laughs> Armor slows you down. Skill issue. What's this music? Uh oh. That's just some random dude. He, that wasn't even. That guy had absolutely nothing to do with any of this. He just killed just... a guy for no reason. Yeah. Did Immediate... I mean? Did... Did he shoot? Abrupt escalation. D did he shoot him though? Because listen to the sound of the gunshots. Like listen to the. Listen. That's like the noise a bowl of of, of, of fucking Rice Krispies makes when you pour milk. Yeah. On. That's not a gun a gunshot sound. Also, how did he know that was one of them? He didn't. He randomly he just shot. He just shot a random person. I like the idea that this dude just randomly murders people and like beats them up. Totally unnecessary peel out. Rule of cool peel out. Yeah, fuck your headlights. He shot the headlight as if that was going to be, you know, any kind of inconvenience to these people in broad daylight. Aha, uh -huh. yes, now they cannot see. Strategically shooting out the headlights <laughs> in broad daylight. Yeah. Now his oh. automatic driving car won't be able to see. All, all of the weapons are airsoft guns. I think you're right. Well, the airsoft wasn't around. Oh, was I mean, it? I mean, like that they might as well like be. The fake gun, yeah. Air guns. Finally, I thought you guys would never come get me. God, that guy was boring. <laughs> I wasn't actually kidnapped by anonymous. I thought that was his ringtone for a second. They don't have, no, the cell phones don't exist yet. I know. There she is, boss. So you've been seeing this guy bending behind my back. Is this how you repay my kindness? I could have anyone, do you know that? Yeah, because he's been so kind. Do you know that? I could have anyone, man or woman, but I only go cool. for the women because I'm not gay. <laughs> I'll make sure that he never wins a tournament again, not even a kids competition. But come and get me. I hope he does. You can see all these air fresheners in here um, in an attempt to make it not smell like shit. You know they ain't doing a fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they've been there for months. Yeah. They ain't doing a damn thing. Also, I like how these are supposed to be crime families or whatever, but all of them live in trailers. Crime usually... Um pays man you know i is what you're saying okay what was on that piece of paper wrong answers only i totally want your ass but not in a gay way seriously a drawing of dick butt <laughs> I want to see. I want Cerve to see edits of this. Cerveza Cristal on sale at the liquor store. <laughs> Fifty percent off a six pack. It said, "You are Mister Gay." <laughs> Dear Mario. Jabroni, my, Jabroni underscore Mike has gone live on Twitch.tv. Oh, <laughs> shit. 
it said uh, Saddam Hussein uh, copy pasta, white block <laughs> copy pasta. Of course, oh, the Twitch notification was four hours late. Dear Mario, pussy in bio. It was truly <laughs> Princess Toadstool. <laughs> It said Jabroni Mike full streams. It said get your ass over to Twitch. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, here's the... He's a berserker yeah, rage. Yeah, he, he, he's just, he went into sicko mode. Psycho mode. Insano mode. He turned it on. Happening again? He flipped the switch. In Ireland, Wait, is he sleeping now? In Ireland, it's called sick o apostrophe mode. Sicko the mode. Thank you. That was it. The, the wizard's like, so if you think about it, if you imagine it, the odds that you'd be here are very, very small indeed. I mean, imagine your father had jerked off just one more time that day. <laughs> You might not even be here. It's a lot to think about, isn't it? If your father had jerked off just just one more time. <laughs> it's a lot That's to true think if you about. think about cum. If you think about cum, you'll find it's the truth. That was the information he had about his father, by the way. How many times he jerked off the day he was conceived. <laughs> Loose or else? Loose or else. That conveys no information. This whole thing really just comes across as like a spat between the trailer trash. It's the junk. It's junky. James. It's on ironically. It's junky James Joyce. Or whatever. Junky, jo junky Joe Joyce versus that other fucking guy. You, oh, and by the way, if you want ever want to go down a rabbit hole with that, the guy he's mm -hmm. calling out made a response video, and they they oh responded they responded a couple of times to each other, and then I believe they eventually fought. Am Mike, I am I, I right, chat? They, they eventually do fight. Like you, it happens. Mike, I figured it out. Yeah. This. This. Someone found a script outline for an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia and thought that it was meant for, like, a, a martial arts action drama. It, it, it's funny without intending to be. I mean, a fuck, you know, a, a, if it was a script for Always Sunny, it would have jokes. You know what I mean? Like, Right. It, it, this is, like, the, the outline, they not the script. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They said, let's make a whole film. The wizard's gonna, yeah, the wizard's gonna be like, I'm the trash man. Mm hmm The gang. You need to go out there. You need to find people harassing women, and you need to kick them in the balls. The 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 gang finds pussy in bio. <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, what am I going to do? You gonna shit on my beard? He's no. Look, watch, watch this. This here's the, here's the real dialogue. Ready? Well, what am I going to do? Cop. You must win the tournament. <laughs> I. I think that this is really undercut by the fact that the dude in the robe is not actually that much older. No. Like these are these men are approximately the same age. God, they have Nicola. 
Cop! If you win Cop. the tournament, you'll break their power. But what about Nicola? Don't Cop. worry, we'll get her back. I hate flowers. Now shut up and eat your Weetabix. <laughs> yeah, he was very angry at those flowers. This feeling inside. It's a, di wait, it's, a <laughs> it's a different song. Is there going to be more lyrics or is that it? <laughs> Just this feeling inside. This is a fucking U2 demo track. Are those this the only lyrics? inside. It's about 200 Kurik's large. I'm going to shit it out on Sunday, plotty Sunday. The blood is in the toilet. It split me fucking arse. How long? How long is this fucking turd? It's the lowest brow humor we've had here in a while. <laughs> What's the touch of her hand? She can move in a mountain. This is the song that, you know, you know rem remember when Apple forced everybody to have that U2 album on iTunes, whether or not you wanted it. Oh, yeah. This is the opening track to that album. Like, they, they sold they sold iPods with yeah. the album on it. Yeah, yeah. Whether or not you wanted it. you could, And you, could, you couldn't even delete it off. The fuck? If you have an iPhone, you have that album on your phone. You have no choice. You have to have it. it, it, mm. it, it this, is, this, this is that song. Mike, I realized what this song is. Are there huge gaps? in the singing like at the beginning you know how there are bands you know how there are bands that will like they'll they'll start playing a song and then the lead vocalist will sing the first line will be like this feeling inside oh no hold on and then the rest of the band keeps playing yeah even yeah. though he fucked up the first line and refuses to sing like the next few lines that's what this is except in the recording yeah they just left it they re Everyone knows that sound, right? Like it always follows the same cadence. This feeling is oh no. Oh my god, sexo? We're not near sexo? the sexo. We still have 15 no, minutes before. No, the there's uh like if you'd like I can double check. Yeah, there's for ass. There's penis in 15 minutes. We know there's penis in 15 minutes. Light penis. Light penis. Yeah. Okay. But I think I think we're good for now. Okay. If she wants, she can break all the rules. Sexo. And when she smiles, <laughs> she lights up my life. And if she cries, he's just fantasizing about it. He didn't actually have sex with her. Sore Irv, hey, thanks for that raid, uh, Sore, or ERV1, thank you. What a fucking <laughs> random scene to... Well, you know what it is. It's just, it's just like... Padding out the runtime by slamming a bunch. It's Naruto shit. This is Naruto yeah. moment. This is a fucking Naruto, a big long Naruto moment. Jizz cloud her eyes, Chatter said. <laughs> Look how angry he is. Bro, he's the fucking Arthur meme. He's literally the Arthur meme. He is. He's the fucking Arthur meme. His his arms are shrinking. They are. I think it's because his pants are so She's high. I guess. Soul. She's the fire and the rain.
Bro, uh, bro, dude, dude, your robe is on fire. Hello? You, bro? I know, isn't that based? The wizard Again, sucks. The camera, the wow. camera is situated too far away. There's some very questionable fucking cinematography here, right? Okay. What's the plan? Why does this film feel longer than it needs to be? Probably because I paused it every 10 seconds. If she wants, she can break all the rules. Yeah, that's like a frog. They've been cooking a frog out here. They're going to eat the tongues like the liver king. And she smiles. Oh, well, it, it, it's not raw. She lights up my life. We're gonna eat the frog's testicles to be able to jump high like the frogs. He's like, oh look, I've been working on fire dancing. What do you think? Don't quit your day job. I need complete silence for this spell. He's a pyromancer. <laughs> What'd you say? Sorry. No, I need complete silence for this fire spell. <laughs> How many times do you think, like, he accidentally burned the actor while they were shooting that? Not once. That was the closest he ever got. Apparently, at one point, the subtitles uh, of the song, right? Like, the YouTube subtitles. It said, um, for this feeling inside, it turned it into uh, this feeling enzyme. <laughs> Look, it's Orville and Wilbur Wright. Hey, oh, so fellas. we try to hit that badger. Nice. Good job, boys. El pod. Live in el pod. Eat el bugs. He looks like he's about to go golfing. I'll perform a illicit business transaction. I think those things are probably often done together. Yeah, that's fair. Welcome back, Seagull. How did it go in Hong Kong? His name is Seagull. Oh, no, no, no. That's just the subtitles being wrong. Steven Seagull. You know about Steven Seagull? Everything is dumb. Good. I have another little job for you. What is it? I will tell you later. It's like, yeah, dude, we're making a martial arts movie when you're never going to get who we, who we got to act in it. Seagull. <laughs> Wait, like Steven Seagal? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, kind of like, yeah, like that. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Like him. But you mean him. Yeah, like him. Like him or him. A seagull you know? named Steven. Well, you got Steven Seagal. No, we got better. We got Seagull. I guarantee you that there are like dozens of seagulls at zoos, all at like aviaries all over the world named yeah. Steven. Yeah, yeah, it's probably an epidemic. Shouldn't have been sort of like, it, like, it's as common as moms saying garbage. And having, and yes, I um, stole that from Homestar Runner. Um, uh, what, 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 what the fuck was it recently? Uh, animals getting named a specific thing because of, because of like a fucking, um, like a popular character. Like how many hedgehog, pet hedgehogs are not named Sonic, you think? Like, I, I'd say at least 20% of hedgehogs are named Sonic, at least. Not named Sonic? Are named Sonic, at least 20%. How about the bee named Susan B. Anthony? Does, does anyone name their bees? Yes, Fred. That happened at the zoo. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, the bees were named at the, at the zoo. Yeah. Susan B. Well, Susan B. Anthony was also a rabbit. They, they again, they doubled that. They had two Susan B. Anthonys at that zoo. They had a bee and a rabbit. Name every bee ever. Bet you can't. I'm starting to think this wizard is... is a... 
is out here just just getting off to this. Like this is not training anymore. Oh yeah, he's got a boner under his robe. Yeah, he's just also was that his joints cracking? I, that's why I rewound it because I wanted to figure that out. I mean, what the fuck else was the sound supposed to be? Yeah? I like the idea that he didn't actually pull himself up like that, that he just had a stool because they cut to a shot where you couldn't see underneath. Mike should do the name 100 women speed run. I saw that um, going around on Twitter. Uh, here's the thing. I probably couldn't name 100 men. So, I mean, like, what, what, what does that even, again, prove? I... Northern Lion this did it in, a... si in six minutes. We've talked about Northern Lion. He's not human. Okay? We've discussed this about that. That guy's not fucking human. It's not normal. His brain is abnormal. That's, in that's fucking superhuman. His brain is not normal. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that guy. He's, he's not a fuck. He's not human. Fucking most normal people would not be able to do that. Built different. I don't even... It's not even built different. It's that he's a different speed. He's a fucking alien race or something. Like, like, like who the fuck's brain works like that? Like, it's, no, if you wanted, it's terrifying. If you wanted to name... If you wanted to name a hundred men, you could just say Northern Lion because he's a hundred tiny men in, just... in a giant <laughs> trench coat. Honestly, the way his brain works, that's what it fucking feels like. It's like there's no way one human being could retain all this information and not forget it. Okay, and have it... You know, oh yeah, I remember who acted in that obscure movie from 1996, and I remember the name of it, and I remember the fucking cinematographer. No, you're not a human being, bro. Stop. I don't know what the fuck that is. You're, you're a machine. You're a fucking machine. Okay, so no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Mine's going to... Okay, I'll tell you what. I could probably do it, but it's going to take a lot longer than six minutes. Tell you that fucking much. Hey, Dookie, it took me 30 minutes to get 50. Fred, how long do you think it would take you to name 100 women? Uh, 100 women? Yeah, no memes. Blech. I can't say that I've ever tried. No memes. I mean, like, okay, but again, I'm going to ask you this again. How long do you think it would take you to name 100 men? Again, like, I, I'm sure that I could. It would just take a minute. Yeah, but I mean, like, how many minutes? Uh, give me, like, half an hour, maybe? You think you could do it I'm... in 30 minutes? Maybe. You want to race? I'm not doing it, though. You don't want to race me? No, I want to watch this shitty movie. Mike, we have... I'll race you to 100 women. We're no. At... You'd have no balls? I thought you were fat and nuts nudes, and now you're afraid? No, I don't want to... I want to watch a movie, not name women. He's scared. He's scared. Take your Sorry. W and let's go. He's too much of a misogynist. Dude, this Oh no, I I can I can name a hundred women. How am I supposed to hate them if I don't know them? <laughs> I don't think that you, chat's like, oh, that poor tree. This guy is screaming in agony. He is. That tree is not budging. Oh. No, he's in pain. What the fuck is this? Hello? It's a cool container ship. I'm just watching the ship. Cleopatra. <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Um, what about just women I know, like personally? You can't do that. I have to, I have to name women that, that another person might know. Yeah. What about the woman? Uh, it's you know, it, the fucking the the, the uh, uh Jane Goodall. How about the woman who um, invented uh, vaccines or something? Who the fuck was that? The woman who invented like uh, uh, fucking Florence Nightingale. Hillary Clinton. That's Hillary Florence Clinton. Florence Nightingale. 
Jennifer Lopez, guys, Marie Curie, Marie Curie, because she cures, that's why they called her that, because she was cur curing diseases. I am going to scream. Nine hour stream, here we come. I'll do it next time with that, without Fred here, I'll do it, okay? Yo, look, he, look his, his, his peanuts. Junk, Junkie Joe Joyce. I hate wood! Hold on, he's screaming something dramatically. Hold on. That's intimidating, huh? Wow. Warriors, welcome. Each decade we celebrate May with the Feast of Yalkana. This has been handed down through centuries. He hates stumps. It is in this tradition that we are gathered here. Oh, he's sunburned. He's really stumped. This guy is red as fuck. Each decade he's we sunburned. celebrate May with the Feast of Yalkana. This has been handed down through... What is this fucking... Uh... Midsummer shit they're doing here. Centuries. Yeah, right. It is in this tradition that we are gathered here. In keeping with the ancient ways, there are no rules. Let the blood of the tournament begin. I don't know, man. Irish people are just red sometimes. They there are. They're are just no. They're just red. They, is it? They're mm. like. Is it? Is it like prone to rosacea? Rosacea, yeah. Hamilton and O'Hanlon. Oh what? my god, we got the USA repping! USA USA USA, USA! 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 Let's go! You, you shoved you, him over? You, you shoved him? Like... America! Fuck yeah! I can't see shit. Are they having this fight in a bucket of piss? What's going on? Yeah, there's like a piss miasma. Oh, no, they're not in Ireland anymore, Fred. They're in Mexico. Oh, okay. It's the Me you know what they did? You know what they did? They they took that water in that fake fish bowl, and then they aerosolized <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Oh! Oh! USA! USA! Fuck yeah! America, let's go. Did you see his fat titty? Harry yeah. And Fitzsimons. They are no hey, Hexen, wait, they're in Mexico? It was a joke about the, the, the piss filter. You know how they put the filter oh, on, yeah. on the, you know... Always. On the screen. Yeah, Mexico and is yellow. When you're in Mexico in a movie, yeah. they put the screen, the yellow filter on the screen so you know you're in Mexico for some reason. Oh, that monk is drunk. Wow. Man, if you get your ass kicked by this guy, you got to re-examine some things. He's like, he's like a, it's like a koala man. What the fuck? Bennett and O'Shea. He looks like a fucking Skyrim NPC. I pushed him with my foot. So if you haven't figured it out, this is the tournament that they've been talking about, right? The whole movie. Yeah. And it's just like a fucking bar brawl. Um. <laughs> Wait, that was editing. That wasn't us. That wasn't your stream fucking up. And they just uh, left that like that, huh? They just... 
The, the fucking movie is its own YouTube poop. <laughs> they just got a dude from the school. Why are they doing it in a dungeon? Bonk. America, come on, America, no! America! No, America! No, you gotta, you gotta take this one home for us, come on. I've never Grab heard his about dick this. And twist it. I've, I've never heard about this tournament before, but suddenly it's the most important thing in the world right now. You gotta fucking do this. We need this trophy. Oh, did you hear the next snap? Yeah. Rub his titty. Rub his tit. Tit rubber. If you step in the ring with significant tit meat, oh boy, <laughs> oh brother, they're getting rubbed. I'm so glad that they got a heroin addict in on this. They're representing. Yeah. yeah. Suddenly, I love this movie for some reason. Titty rubber. Titty rubber. Shut the fuck up. Uh-huh. Okay, hold on. That the thing is coming up soon. Uh how close are we? Okay, we're we're about ten minutes off from the AS and cock. So in 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 Mike and Fred time, that's about forty minutes. Yeah. Oh. Why was that in fucking slow motion? They use the three shell method to um, <laughs> ash their cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Is that seagull? We got Steven Seagull. They... It's uh, close enough. Why are they slow mowing all of these random little shots? Rule of cool. I guess they think they just think slow motion is cool. Jaw. Three aces. <laughs> Someone in chat said, Laura Palmer's final hours. I hope you're better at running than you are at gambling. I am the god of gamblers. Because he won't be doing too much gambling when Jimmy gets it. <laughs> he didn't even make contact with her. You could, no. you could It was clearly fake. Mm -hmm. He just kind of gestured at her. Tell me about my father. What do you want to know? How did you know him? He was my first student. How? He shot on my beard. One of us. <laughs> For a short while. A monk? Yes. So what am I going to do tomorrow? Aren't monks supposed to be celibate? I don't know that these are even monks. I think they're just... Dudes who like the fabric. They just enjoy the drip. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I love how the fabric feels against my arms. So, if his father was a monk, was one of the monks, right? Who, by the way, just exists for, I don't, I don't I even understand why these monks exist. Um, he failed at being a monk pretty miserably by, I don't know, nutting inside somebody? Your dad sucks. Yeah, you know, like your dad failed as a monk, he failed as a man, he failed as a fighter, he's just... You must win. How can I with those two watching me? We'll Wait, deal that was with it? Those two. That was all he wanted to know about true. his dad? Oh yeah, the, there's... Th that was that was the whole fucking thing that you... The, the, 
the mystery that was being dangled tantalizingly in front of you to keep you from turning this movie off. The mystery of his his parentage. That's it. That was what? unsatisfying. And now he doesn't give a shit anymore. Was it unsatisfying? Was it? Yeah. Be with you. I'm satisfied. I think it's great. Sure, his father was a monk, a kind of a monk that I don't understand what it is or what their purpose is or why they exist. I mean, what's not satisfying about that? Still sunburned to hell. Get some aloe vera, my dude. How, okay, when he kicked him in the face three times, that at least made sense. He flipped him twice? Did you see that? It's just emphasizing the action. But it's horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck a natty. He, wait, what did he say? What? Did he say fuck a natty? I'm just going to try to find out. Fuck a natty. Fuck you, Matthew. Fuck you, Matthew? Fuck a natty. Yeah, this is awesome. These people are so into this. Those women are so turned on by this. Just these sweaty men punching the shit out of each other in a basement, in a, in a literal dungeon. I like how they're just wearing sneakers, too. Yeah. Keep that leg up. He stepped on him. He stepped on him. Good thing he had eye frames. He had eye frames. Dead. Actually dead. What? That? That was what got them? Actually dead. He snapped his neck. He snapped his I'm fucking neck. And for Simon's... There are no rules. There are no rules. Yeah, we get it. Just fucking keep going. Honey, I'm home? Yeah, the guy's nose fucking exploded. Yeah. He That dude looked like Yoshi. <laughs> he kind of did. Hey, I'm yeah, we get it. Stop. He's trying to get out of the way. Hey Arnold rules. You look sexy with those, wear it more. You know what? You guys ruined the ho you ruined Easter. You happy? You ruined the holiday. Jesus is not going to be resurrected now. He's going to stay dead and rot in the ground. It's you okay. Guys I'll wear them. That. You guys ruined Easter. Jesus is permanently dead. You happy, chat? You happy? You killed Jesus. You killed God. And now we're all going to hell. Jesus died, rose again, then died again. Yeah, what he said. You guys fucked up. Okay? You guys fucked up real bad. You ruined Easter. You ruined holiday. the, the holiday. You ruined everything. You ruined the entire fucking... Christ, you ruined Christianity. Good job, assholes. Great fucking job, guys. Great fucking job.
penis in T minus four minutes. What the hell happened there? I don't know, dude. This editing is like starting to degrade. No, there goes the raw beef that I was storing in my cheek for later. <laughs> like a chipmunk. Tori, thanks for checking out my channel. Hope you're having a great night. Thanks for being here. Sick reversal. Too bad it's fucking fake. Did you just kick him in the sole of his shoe? That <laughs> dude. That would hurt. He's just there. He's just there to vibe. This guy. Yeah, he's just there to vibe. I enjoy this guy. Dude, Did he was promised a, a Guinness. Me for showing up. Me, me right now. Yeah, get him. How many? How many chatters is is this guy right now? Where did the bunny ears go? I don't know. Ask your fellow chatters who ruined it. Did you just try to Mario stomp him? He did. Like he was a Goomba. A Goomba stomp. <laughs> Dear Mario, please kill someone in the tournament. I'm Seagull. I'll bake a cake for you. It's Seagull time. Bro, this fucking guy in the white shirt, that's Ethan Klein. <laughs> Stop! It's not. It doesn't even look like him. Oh, that it? <laughs> Nut shot. What? That was very graceful. <laughs> that was smooth. Look at the dad in the corner being like, get up. I swear to God, I've heard this song somewhere before. Like they stole this riff from a fucking, from some song or something. Does anybody know the song I'm talking about? It's, it, this is, this, this is stolen. This music is fucking stolen. Royalty free grooves. It's kind of rolled again. Groove is in the heart. That's the song. That's the fucking song that this was stolen from. That's absolutely correct. There goes the corned beef. He just keeps vomiting up teeth. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to see the stick thing happen. What? Did he snap his neck? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He never even got to use the sticks. That was so sad. 
That's so sad. That's like when my fucking like mech suit comes down in Hell Divers and then gets insta gibbed by like a fucking <laughs> ro like a fucking rocket or like bug Don't vomit. Don't use them against automatons. The bug or the bug vomit. Is that, it's not like it can't happen with the bug vomit. It's like really oh yeah, here mech. it is, and then it just gets immediately exploded before you can even get in it. I'm lukewarm on the mech. It doesn't provide that much more firepower for the vulnerability. It depends on the kind of mission you're doing. Mm. There are some missions where I'm tell that mech was fucking goaded for those those um those uh, pesticide missions with the fucking silos. It was basically yeah, that's a true. That's true. It that was, was really good so for goaded for that. It was like a fucking emplacement. It was yeah, like a fucking it wasn't missile, being targeted. Like a yeah. missile turret emplacement. It was fucking amazing for that. That's true. Are there any rules? No, he didn't tell. No, stop. He didn't tell us if there are any rules yet. He, no, yeah. go back. No, restart the fight. Restart the fight. He didn't tell me if there were any rules yet. I think that implies there are no rules. Well, he said it earlier. But he's supposed to say it. He's supposed to say it. He's cheating. He started early. Dude. Him. There will be ass and penis on camera in T minus two minutes. More like a minute and a half. There are moments of competence. In the movie? Yeah. Where are you seeing that? Like when he lifted him up by the neck. That was that was that was, that was cute. The movie seems like an indie wrestling promotion. Yeah. Where there are no rules. Are there any rules? Tell them if there are any rules, Mike. There are no rules. Thank you. Did you just pick him up by his ears? The option to override automatic peanuts expires in T minus 60 seconds and counting. <laughs> Penis appearing in T minus 30 seconds. Hey, what? What, what the fuck? What was the chanting? Hold on. I don't know, it's like, finish your mission or something? Why is this tournament important? Why is he fighting here? This doesn't matter. He's, he needs to get his girlfriend back, right? Like, his girlfriend is being held captive. Why is he here? It's to, I don't know, embarrass the other guys? It, it, he has to fight to win the tournament. Yeah, this why? This plot makes no sense. Yeah, this plot makes no sense. Why? I, I would, if I were him, I would simply ignore the tournament. This, yeah, And I would go directly has... to where the girl is and beat up everybody and save the girl. Yeah, this has no stakes. Actually, there were very large stakes in the beginning of the movie, if you remember, because they were giant vampires. So there are some pretty uh -huh. big there are some pretty big stakes here, just not the kind that we need That's right true. now. Uh, that was a really far callback. Oh my god! Yeah, it was. I'm not sure. I that was impressive. No, that no, took me a second. Nobody here even remembers that. Crazy. I don't know why I remembered it. This is the fatal deviation in the plot. <laughs> what is the fatal deviation? I, I, Chatter said, hey, this Medieval Times family dinner looks pretty fun. <laughs> family dinner theater. Yeah, they, uh, you know, this, what happened was, so, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we, we ran out of, uh, swords, so, uh, the knights are just gonna punch the shit out of each other, is that okay? 
I remember going to this establishment once. Uh, I was tuning into my niece's funeral during it, though. Yeah, I remember that. Mm -hmm. Had some great pork. Awesome pork. Fa no, he's saying fatal deviation. Is he really? He is saying fatal deviation. I promise you, Mike. Sounds like he's saying fuck something. Fecal cremation. He's saying fecal cremation. Yeah, he said fe uh, fecal B reaction. Oh, does he have IBS? The wizard did it. The wizard cast a, fe a fecal deviation spell and caused him to so win. He shot, yeah, he shot, shot his pants and yeah. then that left him vulnerable. Right. The fecal deviation is when you become 90% shit. Do you see her guarding her face? Yeah. They told her to do that because it's a stunt thing, right? Like, if you're going to get jumped over, you cover yourself up like that. Fred, is it penis time? It is penis time. Um, well, 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 it's fe uh, fatal penis time. Skip to, like, Fate. 105, I guess. Fatal penis time. I'm I'm looking at the penis. Check. Chat doesn't get to see the penis. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm looking at the penis. I will be I will be viewing the penis. So they finish the tournament now. What? It's at no. One... What was the point? I'm I'm still not seeing penis. Where's this penis? It's coming up in like 30 seconds, I think. Guys, I want to point out to you something actually actually kind of cool. They're running around in the castle now. You know what? I'm going to back this up. I'm going to show you this because I didn't see any penis because I, you know, I love castles, right, Fred? Check this out. Running around, doing a little like Scooby-Doo type, type beat in the castle, you know? Look at this. It's literally a Scooby Doo thing. It's, it's the yeah, fucking... it is. I feel like that there are a lot of action movies that just end up resorting to Scooby Doo bullshit. Yeah. Well, what I wanted to say was, they shot that whole uh, fight scene in in a literal dungeon. Like that was the basement of this castle. I think. Yeah, I like, think it was. Like. That's cool. I mean, like, you know, I mean, see, see, someone should show Neil Breen that and be like, yo, look at the power of, like, an actual set. Yeah, at, at least it was yeah. atmospheric. Yeah, I mean, here's, I mean, okay, I'm not going to say it was the height of cinematography. I mean, but, no, you know, the, the, but, like, there were a bunch of dudes that they just grabbed from the pub. And, like, in their normal everyday clothing that they stuck into the basement of this castle. Yeah. And it still felt moody. I'm sure they got permission. That There were sconces on the walls. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. They had, like, torches on the fucking walls. For lighting. That was the lighting of that scene, was actual, actual torches. <laughs> okay, we have to show that. We have to show that. All right, hold up. Come on. 
I, I want to know. I, let me find out where the penis is, though. All right, all right. Because once I know where the penis is, I know. I, and I think this is going to be penis? Yeah, yeah. This is going to be penis. Penis. <laughs> penis. Is this the Pen penis? Yeah. There's no, there's no penis. No, Mike, keep. There, there is penis. I promise. Did you hear what the music just did? Yeah, it just restarted. Th th he's getting in a bathtub of like sewage. Rancid water, yeah. There's the penis. Yep, there's the penis. Why the fuck did they put this in this movie? You know how easy it would have been to, I don't know, not do this? Not anything but this. It's just some gross dude getting into a bathtub for absolutely no reason. I'm going to rewind this. You put this. the fire out, too. I'm going to rewind this because there's something, there's some shit you guys got to yeah. see. Like, you got to see this. Um, Chat, this was fucking stupendous. All right, so you got the, the 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 fucking monk getting ready to face off against these two guys. <laughs> that shout was done in post production. Where they were like, remember the part we made you jump out the window uh, at the castle? And he was like, yeah. He's like, well, we feel like you should do a, some kind of primal scream when you jump out of the, when you jump out of the window. And he was like, I don't know. I kind of got a sore throat. You know, I mean, I don't know. Do you really need me to, you really want me to do that? And they're like, I fuck fine. What if you just yawn really loud? Uh... And, and we, and we use that. Can we, can we do that? You got to give us something, buddy. Yeah, there's your 1998 cell phone, by the way. Hello? Everything's okay, boss. Yeah, it's that meme of, of the guy, he looks like Zach, Zach Galifianakis. He does a little bit. You know, I when, see he look, when he looks at the camera and he smiles and nods? You know that one reaction image? Who is that mm -hmm. in that actual... Uh, that meme? I don't know, but I know the meme you're talking about. It's Robert Redford, they're saying. Anyway, here's the... The, the P-Nice is, is very soon. I mean, I know when the P-Nice is now, so I'll just... We'll, we'll just watch up to the P-Nice. You guys ready for P-Nice? Oh, yeah. P-nice time. Remember, guys, P-nice to each other. Quack. All right, you need to stop now. Oh, yeah, you got to show the water, right? The water. Yeah, look at the water that he's about to rinse himself in. P-nice. See, he's going to take his pants off and then... Yeah, so he's getting it. He takes his, his pants off. You see his penis for a second for no reason. And then he gets into this bathtub and uh, it's brown. Kind of kind of yucky. Um, So is is there more penis after this point? I like, don't think so. Is there more penis after he gets in the bathtub? Uh, th there's bare ass uh, up to a certain point. Like, the dude runs away, and then there's no more ass or penis. Well, here, uh, uh, he gets in the bathtub, and then um, Marshall Mathers is up on the hill. Um, I guess he's going to try to snipe him out. I guess he runs. Let's see. Hold on. I'm looking. Okay, so he runs at 4.30. I'm, I'm looking for more AS. Okay, I don't think there's any more AS after... AS. Uh, 104.35. That's where you're safe. 
Diarrhea donkey ass! Chunk ass. I can't. He's get, just I, like firing off into the distance. I, I I can't get over the sound of the gunshots in, in this movie. It's just someone hitting a mattress. Yeah. With like with a wet suck. It's gonna to, to tell <laughs> Wait, me what this, was that cut? this fucking car is gonna explode. Isn't that like a Ford Pinto? It's a I think the bigger problem is getting those things to start making internal combustion work at all. <laughs> uh oh. That's bad. So there might be pea nice here. Is there pea nice here? There's pea nice here. Yes. All right. Let's. <laughs> hey Fred, thanks for thanks for checking out um the pea nice for me and being my pea yeah I got you. Thanks for being my pea nice spotter. I got you. And that's it. Yep. The guy's gone. So yep. the character's gone. So it's... yep. Ran off the set. It's gone. As far as I as far as I know, I've I've scanned through and haven't seen any more uh AS your P nice. Can I ask you a question? Why is P nice funny? I because it's penis but not. False penis. There goes the driver's license. He said there goes the driver's license. I guess. Like, like somebody took his, wait, because of the car accident? Like what happened? Was his driver's license in the vehicle when it exploded? I, I think it was like, it I think anymore? it's like, oh, I'm going to lose my driver's license for this. Why? Because somebody shot at your car and it exploded. So they're going to take your driver's license away. Yeah. I, th I think that's the gag. The Dude, it's a, it's a one liner. Nothing else in this movie has been competent. What it's, makes you think that the one-liners are going to be it's, sensical? It's just so bad. And then apparently there's more ass later? There is a cock during the credits and in behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Well, we're we, not, we, we're we need to stop at, at that. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to watch the credits. The first credit I see, I'm ending this. So. He's just up there on the hill. NPC idle animation. What is backwards hat? Ooh, he got kicked in the ass. Enjoy the slide. Enjoy the slide. Enjoy the slide. These are the worst one-liners. Oh my god. Wait, did he get hit? I think so, but much like in Bu the movie we watched last night, bullets don't seem to actually do anything to anybody. That enjoy the slide works on precisely zero levels. It's impressively incompetent. Yes. <laughs> That's right. You have to try to suck that much ass with something. It's incredible.
This is like that scene in uh, Naked Gun. This is just yeah. that scene in Naked Gun. Yeah. Except not supposed to be funny. Yeah. Ireland should stick to making beer and whiskey and um, whatever the fuck else they do. Not this, though. Okay. This, this is like the first time I saw a rare video game, like a rare software video game. And I was like, you know what? Maybe British people shouldn't make video games. Like, is it, This is the, the feeling I get now watching this, right? Bonk. Bonk. Yep. Bro, now, you're not going to hit anything like this. Why is he now, flicking it, it like it, it's wet? Now, if it were me, right, and I'm not saying I know how to use guns. I'm not saying I'm a fucking action hero. I know I'm just like a fat asshole, okay, in fucking rabbit ears. But if it were me, I feel like what I would do is instead of whatever this is, I would just do this, right? Like you'd point one in either direction. Right. Instead of the, like, why would you cross your fuck? Why would you, like, okay, there's a guy to my left and there's a guy to my right. Why don't I shoot the guy on my left with the gun in my right hand? And vice versa. I feel like this guy hasn't proven himself competent enough with guns yet to do something like this, you know? Like, he's been a martial artist so far. My thing but, is, is I'm not even impressed by this, like, like again, if I saw this in any action movie, I, I'd think it was stupid. Bro thinks he's Killer Bean, someone said. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta expect the unexpected. Hey, you can't step to that. Chatter said you expect the unexpected. What would be more unexpected than for you to shoot me with the, wrong, the wrong gun? True. True enough. Like, I thought you were going to shoot me with that one. But the other one? Oh my god. Yeah, I could not have seen that coming because of how I die of surprise. stupid it was. Wow. He just shot him I, like three times in the face. <laughs> At like point blank. And he's I fine. really no. appreciate that there is no sense of like the impact or weight of guns in this movie. Yeah. So the way that he wields them is just like he's punching him with the guns. From, yeah. a, from a distance. Yeah, you ever, you ever play a video game that that's just like, you know, like a shooter game, where you 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 know the the guns don't feel like they do anything. Like I feel like that happens a lot, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like one of the thing one of the things I, I really like about Hell Divers, for example, is the the guns really feel powerful. You know, part of it's sound yes. sound design. Part of it's the way it, you know, like the recoil and the way it, the, when you when you click the when you left click, just the way it, the fucking it looks and shit like that. But yeah, like, absolutely. I I've played video games where it's like I pick up a gun and I shoot it and it doesn't feel like anything. Mm hmm. Y you know, and it's just it's just such a lame experience. Right, like it's, the the animations are right, right. You, you know, you you. You've all experienced this, right? Like I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of uh, discourse about this. In fact, you know, over the years. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's really the feeling of it that's important. Pal World's guns feel because... satisfying. Ironically, yeah. From what I remember of Pal World, actually, a, fu a funny thing about Pal World is they did pull that off. Mm hmm. So I, I think that. There is the I think a lot of people in games complain about enemies being bullet sponges. Yeah. But I think that I don't think that that's actually a game design problem because I think that it is fine if you have an enemy that can take a lot of bullets. Um, I think that's fine. Because if the guns are designed correctly, then they should feel weighty and feel like they have an impact. You, you because won't you've mind designed the them in such a way, and when an enemy is a is a bullet sponge, if they are just taking tons of rounds, if you have designed the guns well, it won't be obnoxious. It will like it, it instead. It will feel like oh my god, this enemy is serious because these guns pack a punch. Every everything is telling me they pack a punch, and this thing is still taking tons of bullets. Yeah. Like, right. if, if you design it right, then it will feel good. I think that a lot of games get it wrong. I think, like...
Yeah, you, you're on it, to something. It's frustrating this, in sure. that way. Um, I, I think a lot of it, like whether a gun, f whether enemies that can take lots of bullets feel good or bad depends mostly on like the sound design and the way that the guns feel. The sound design, the visual design, enemy reaction to being hit. Like there are a lot of factors involved. It, there's a scenario where a, a bullet sp sponge enemy you, you could enjoy fighting. Instead of yeah. being like, this is just a slog that sucks. Well, I, I think that that's kind of how Helldivers feels, right? Like, a lot of the enemies can take a lot of bullets. Yeah. But I don't sit there going, man, this thing is a bullet sponge. Yeah. Ever. It's like, oh, this is a tough enemy. Yeah, right. Instead. Right. Would Cyberpunk have satisfying guns? When I played Cyberpunk, I remember some of the weapons feeling really good, actually. And then I remember other ones n not feeling good. I remember... Cyberpunk was a mixed bag. I think your mileage will vary with Cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play this shit. Okay. The melee feels nutty. I don't really remember doing melee at all in Cyberpunk. guy's getting in some good cardio on the set here today yeah get some squats some calisthenics and he hit? had the wizard cbt <laughs> look at the recoil look at the way he's shooting it this guy <laughs> that's fine he stupid. doesn't even he doesn't even have the butt of the gun against his shoulder no the guy that guy has it under his arm he's never fired an actual gun in his life right Uh-oh. Here we fucking go, boys. Let her go! Put the gun down! Let the girl go! Let the girl go! Where is she? Put the gun down or she dies! Hey, asshole. No! Oh, dude, it would have been so good if he shot her. <laughs> Whoops, and that's the end of the movie. In fact, that's the ending. I'm rejecting this actual ending and replacing it with that one in my mind. By the way, this is the first time we see any blood yeah. from, a, from a bullet impact. Yeah, movie. yeah. Hi, asshole. No! Wait, did his, her no get layered? His fucking... I think... Oh, my God. Go back and listen to it again. Metallica listen to her no shirt. carefully. No. It's doubled up. No. It's a whole lot of no. They fucked up because they took. They aren't recording the audio with a separate device. They're recording the audio on the camera, I think. And so they were recording from two different angles. And then. I, maybe? I don't know why it's doubled up like that, actually, now that I think about it. They could only afford one squib. Mm -hmm. Great squib. Shame it's the only one they could get. We just saw 80% of the movie's budget just now. <laughs> Nail down. Nail the fuck down. You don't give a shit that anyone else has aimed a gun at you so far. Why do you care about this dude? Sorry? If this ended with him killing the both of them right now, I, that would be based, and this would be one of the best movies I've ever redeem seen. Redeem this movie. It would redeem it. You heard me. It's me you want. I heard it. Now hear this. Lame. Damn. Lame. That's this is gonna be a, a weird smattering of like figs and apples on the so if we don't get interrupted on the blanket. <laughs> Close your eyes. Why? Hog one. Close your eyes. Hog one. 
Oh, he said, oh, go on. This is Hog One reporting in. You killed my son. Now I am going to kill you just as I killed your father. Um, the movie what? almost became based again. Wait, please tell me that this ends in elderly you abuse. My father. Now I'm going to kill you just like I killed Oh, that was his father. dad. Man, what a nice picnic. Dude, please tell me that they have the rest of the picnic with this dude's corpse just laying there. Yeah, they just go back to the picnic. Like, they just... They just continue... They finish the date, basically, with this guy rotting there. Hey, you know what's cool about it? The ants will probably go to eat his corpse instead of the fucking picnic. Yeah, also, you know, when you die, you void your bowels, and so it's gonna, like... It's gonna smell like death. Death and poop. Yeah. That... Who, who was that guy, by the way? That was the father. That, that was, was like the, 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 the boss. He guy? was the loose end. There was a loose end. They forgot yeah. to tie up. So yeah, they, they stuck basically... it at the end of the movie. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, Fred. Holy shit. That's it. Just because somebody was, someone was like, what about the dad? And they were like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> shit. Fuck. We got to shoot. They, they had to go shoot on another day. They were like, shit, we got to go. We gotta get the cameras back. Fucking goddamn it. Alright, is this credits with penis? Yeah, it These is. sound like credits music. Yeah, this credits music. Oh, this film was rough, man. Yeah, this, this sucked. This is the like behind the scenes and pe this is the penis. Alright, listen. Fred, um, you know I love hanging out with you, buddy. Hell yeah. And I really appreciate that you uh came and hung out with us tonight man it was a real treat however um fuck you for showing us this movie this was one of the worst things i've ever seen in my life and you it's should be deep fucking bad, you, you should it? be deeply ashamed of yourself buddy i want you to know that um but i, I mean thank ryan ryan was the one who uh who shared yeah, this, this with us this was uh reprehensible completely irredeemable dog shit in every conceivable way and i thoroughly fucking hated this thank you so much for showing us this fright everybody Say thank you to Fred. And by the way, I guys, just pass it along. Guys, why don't you follow Fred on uh, Twitch and um, uh, his YouTube and shit? Guys, can we get can we get a shout out for Fred in the chat? He's a beautiful man with some beautiful testicles. You should check out his uh, content and everything. Um, and you know what? Same goes for me. How about that? What do you think of that? I'm a beautiful man with beautiful content. You should check out my shit. I'm gonna put some links in the chat. I want you to click these two. It's my Twitter account, my YouTube channels, and our Discord server. You join that Discord server, you're going to get stream notifications every night and an additional four inches length on your penis. All right. Now, me and Fred, we're going to dip. We got some, uh, I think we got some bots to deal with. Damn right. We have a major um, order to fulfill. We got, we and, got a, a, and a fucking cannon to try out. We, we, we got to go. We got to take care of a major order. You guys have been great. Thank you so much for the subs, the resubs, and the bits, and all the gift subs and everything, guys. I really appreciate it. I know I wasn't calling them out tonight because I had a guest, but I do really, really appreciate it, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow night. We're going to do a Finger Family-esque type thing. It may not be a traditional Finger Family. I don't, I don't. Honestly, I have no idea what's going to happen yet. I haven't put it together yet, but I have some ideas um, it'll be, a, it'll just be a fun time hanging out. Hope I could see you there 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow night. Guys, lots of love. Thanks for being here. Fred, thanks again for hanging out. It was a blast. Of course. And I will, uh, I'll see you all tomorrow night. Okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do